Happy holidays to all. Happy birthday. <laughs> you get out of here, you. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Be gone, you wretched snow homunculus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, so why is my chair wet and why is there snow coming out of my room? I don't worry uh, about Frigimon. Okay, fair happen. enough. Hello, Froggy everybody. Mon. Glad to see you all. <laughs> Gotta visit Froggymon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that froggy mon. Hello, everyone. Hope y'all have been good. I hope you've been having a good time. Hope you hope it's been a fun time for everybody. We've Hello. missed you. Have you it's missed you? Work. I've missed you. But her aim's getting better. Fish <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys. Oh, good stuff. Good to be back. It's been good a while. Been, I haven't been missed here. any of you. I've been in your homes, inside of your walls. Which reminds me, you need to start paying rent. <laughs> I'm leaving your homes. I'm leaving That's your walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hell was fun while it lasted. <laughs> yes, we're back, everyone. It's been I'm it's, it feels the like forever. Ah, goodness, goodness gracious. I've ah, uh, it's been it's it feels like it's been way too long. It it's been it it really does. It's been and then uh <laughs> fucking uh now that now that the boys are here and we've gathered. Cracking open a cold crack, one with yep. the boys. Nice. Crack open that cold one. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, with or, the boys. Like if you're a boy now. I'm a or boy if now. Gang, if your gang is a bunch of vampires, you can crack open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yes. true. true facts. Yes, you can. <laughs> well, that was oh. very informative. Anytime. Anytime you want vampire lore, just hit me up. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> At the ready. So, Chase, I have a question about vampire lore. Go on. Why did Jack? Why did Dracula name his son his name backwards? Just it doesn't have to do with case. mirrors. <laughs> Just in case. Okay. It's yeah. Is that his exactly. middle name? You wanted, to, you wanted to see himself in something for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, for the second time because you know the mother. Anyway. Ba -da -ba. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> funny. <laughs> Comedy, everyone. Yes, me. God. Damn it. I, I, I missed that part of Van Helsing. <laughs> well, fourth time for coming to Van Helsing movie, he has three brides. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Hi. Welcome to Digi Destiny. We are we're slowly but surely becoming more unhinged, but to be oh. fair, that's what you uh, that's what you guys all tune in for usually. <laughs> how I, dare you for, how oh. dare you encourage this? <laughs> I, I I started today unhinged and I've I've continued all the while. This is like me getting fucking be. recording files. It's like the first 10 minutes of just talking about One Piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay, now record for Digimon. You don't okay. have to call Zoe out like that. She's listen, right. so sorry. listen. <laughs> like, that I thought, was I thought, one time. I thought One Piece live action was on like pause or the first season's already over. Like, give it a minute. <laughs> oh, what a time. Mm. Oh, but okay. I think we can roll uh, into some stuff since we've gotten some people rolling in here. I was yes, talking about somebody got... else, but it's so wild that it happened twice. <laughs> we've got 90 people already watching. How yeah. Dare How dare you? It's nice to see you all. It's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Okay, I'm now calling Coffin Jockey Grunkle Chase for the butter aim's getting better. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Fair. I'll take it. Uh, but yes, I will I will now transition us over to our good boy, Red Beast, for the oh, first shit. of many plugs. Hi. How's it going, everyone? I'm Red Beast. And you know what we use a lot? Patreon! It's a wonderful place filled to the brim with unregulated anime parodies held away from the clutches of uh, the copyright overlords. You can gain entry to such a wonderful kingdom of the internet haha -ha videos that I'll slap your shit silly for just one dollar. Oh. Uh... For one dollar, you get to see all of our bridge parodies the day they're meant to come out. That shouldn't need to be a feature, but we post on YouTube. I feel as though I don't need to uh, clarify any further than that. <laughs> put, uh, a mm -hmm. put a cap. Put a cap. Yes. Oh yes. Please, yes. Please so do put a cap. Patreon's trying to fuck everything up by making it harder. It doesn't for tell to you that we put five things up. If you want to pay the amount you said you're gonna pay, just make sure that you're saying that. Yes, please put a cap. We we on we, on the we love you guys. Please don't overspend. On the pinned message, we have a link. If so, if you go on, you're like, it's not showing me. 
Patreon has a link that will hopefully show you because it's always been there, but they keep changing it. So, yep. uh, but it's pinned on the Patreon like front page of our yeah. thing. Yeah. Could we also put a pin message in the Discord server that they would also be able to join in with our amazing community? I know oh, that we also have I membership. Well, yeah. this is the segue. Yeah, I know. Uh, I occasionally like to take a little sneak peek into the spoiler chat during games to see people react when Deskmon's saying something funny or when Eos going to fall down the mountain this episode. Apparently, it'll uh, happen. <laughs> we'll see. Additionally, you can also join in on polls whenever we need polls filled. Polls, 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 polls. Do we do polls? Sometimes oh, my... they happen every so often. They do. I mean, you know, we, we also just, do the, we just put we up also a poll that wildly changed the course of uh, what we're planning to do with Goblin Slayer Bridge. Interesting. Uh, for five dollars, you can take part in Discord events such as movie nights with aforementioned polls that decide blah, 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 with uh, which movie is decided by you all in the sofa uh, with, through aforementioned polls. I jumped ahead in my script. There we go. Uh, but wait, there's more. On the seven deadly dollar tier, you get to see episodes a full week early on the Patreon before YouTube even has a chance to strike us down as if it was face facing me in Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, if you don't know what that looks like, imagine John Cena pile driving the mummified remains of King Tut. My body just exploding into dust, much like YouTube, much like our videos when YouTube finds out we're a bridge in one piece. Just gone. Disintegrated. Reduced, reduced to atoms. I see you trying to do a bridge of parody of an anime thing and he's gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty much. Uh, there's a $20 tier where uh, your names will be added to the description of the videos, like a VIP section in a really cool club. Uh, then there's the $50 tier. My God, you guys are crazy. That involves uh, me or one of our many talented editors burning your names into the video itself uh, at the end, uh, forever immortalizing your contribution. And I do love that I have... Uh, in a video, recent video I edited, I get to see a few familiar names. Uh, bad Chase Advice, Tofa, I noticed you guys joined the $50 tier a bit ago. Thank you so much for the, the, that support. That uh, may also have been a clerical error on my part, but also a cool shout out on your part. <laughs> oh, well. You guys are there now. You, welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, and for the what? then there's the, the $100 tier. Uh, your God. That's it. Just ask for whatever you want, and if, if it is within our power, we will try to do it. We're like a genie, but with way more stipulations. Uh, we've made a whole uh, whole new abrid series. Uh, we've brought dead abrid series back up from the grave, and I think it was like we even made like shirts or something. Yeah, for, uh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, our, uh, our genie wish is a lot <laughs> like a Robin Williams genie wish. Uh, it we do the wish, but with a lot more voice impressions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, the Vamon plushie is one such thing that is currently in R&D because one of you mad champions, you who scaled Mount Olympus just to tell Hades, one van-shaped soft boy, please. And he was like, all right, let me look into that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that in your notes, it's Hades that's like, let me see what I can do instead of FIS to scar the floor. Fuck, you don't say FIS to I misread it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Hades is like the only god who actually grants people's <laughs> wishes, so it's... Also, yeah, like, he's the nicest guy. <laughs> also, Hades... Not on Mount Olympus. Guys. He's in Tartarus. Yeah. He was I'm, visiting. I'm going I'm to yeah, make a confession. I'm going to make a confession. I was watching Disney's Hercules earlier today, so that's my might be why he's on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I am not kidding. I mean, the least accurate depiction of the character, but he's funny. I'll let it slide. Whoa, is my hair out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By far the most inaccurate interpretation, and also by far the best. Can I can I just say it would be really funny if you guys cosplayed Hades? <laughs> 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 Light me up, bitch. Have have like a fire wig that's not even attached, and you can just remove. <laughs> have, oh have it held God, together by yeah. like the slightest piece of tape, and then somebody yeah. flicks it, and you're just like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, was my whoa, hair? Was my hair? Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. god. I'm plus, on board for that. Plus, Red Beast has an extensive amount of experience with gray body paint. <laughs> I don't know what the implication there is. Oh, oh, oh we're talking about the lore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Red Beast lore. From the, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Red oh, Beast the, lore. The Red Beast lore. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not on the uh it's not on any of our other like wiki pages, but you know, you can find that somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, sorry, we've sidetracked your... your we we definitely have. Uh, 
thing God that, of War reference. Thing, thing ah. that I forgot to do as part of my job was uh, begin the introductions, which is why Red Beast was so caught off guard. And I was I gonna was. try to save him from that, but then he was started rolling and do it really well, and I'm like, you know what? My job's second now. So <laughs> that's entirely my fault. We are uh, professionals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> also, at least the upside. High, I thought I saw my thing speak. Yeah, you're was, fine. I, okay, great, awesome. Don't wanna lie. Uh, but I'll, I'll go first. Hello, my name is Chase, a.k.a. Coffin Jockey. I do a bunch of voice acting stuff for the channel. Uh, I, I play too many characters. I write a bunch of the scripts. I help manage all the stuff. I help make the things happen, good stuff like that. In Digimon Abridged, I voice Gabumon, Garurumon, uh, and a, a couple of the ne nemeses, like, uh, uh... Uh, I keep trying Unimon, to say Flamemon. Meromon. It's not his name. His name's not Flamemon. He's covered in flames. That's not his name. Meromon. Thank you. Meromon. Uh, Unimon, who unhinges his jaw and manifests in marble. And, uh, and of course, the narrator. Uh, that's, that's the stuff that I do. I do all sorts of stuff like that. Next up, we got Storm. Sorry, I was eating. Oh. Oh, I'm so Hi. good at making sure people aren't ready today. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Hi, I'm Storm Sage. I'm one of the writers for the channel, primarily with Digimon, and also Digimon Tamers. They're like, which is a lot like Digimon, but with a lot smaller of a central cast. And also, depression. But hey, I have four Digimon, I voice Joe, and also uh, the one Digimon whose name I always forget, that talks like Tasmanian Devil. Mojimon. Yeah, Mojimon. Mojimon, thank yeah. you. Watch Mojimon. I I, I remember because that was like one of my favorite deliveries Chase has ever done. This one's Bojaman! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's Mojaman! Thank you. And uh, in uh, Tamers, I voiced the principal who had his leg bitten off by Gitamon. Spoilers. I love doing that one voice over and over again. It's going to be so funny when we later find that there is animation of the principal somewhere and you oh, have the, to edit in oh, a prosthetic leg. We already found it. Leg. I'm we, sure we, you uh, did. We, we have like, to uh, cut this man <laughs> from so many episodes. <laughs> we are in episode four writing and we saw him and we're like, oh God. Oh no. Can we write around this scene? Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> But, but uh, that's, yeah. just give that's the thing with prosthetic legs. Fine. That's the thing with prosthetic legs. If you get a good prosthetic leg, people can't tell you have a prosthetic leg. Oh, you yeah. don't okay. actually have to edit anything. I but mean, I know you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, we've avoided using him, so hopefully that continues. We shall. But yeah, in this uh, lovely little game, I voice uh, Grayson, and I am the new voice for Magimon and Wizardmon. Woo. Taking over for uh, the previous actor, Pyro. Yeah. Next up, we Ooh. got Red Beast. Hey, I'm Red Beast. I am the video editor for this channel. I edit Digimon Bridge. I also edit uh, a bunch of other projects for the Schmuck Squad. Whatever they need me for, uh, I'm a, their professional editing hitman. Mm -hmm. uh, my specialty is editing Digimon Bridge and Digimon Tamers Bridge. Uh, well, I voice uh, Komaman and Ikakuma. And I did grunts for Shellmon at one point. True. Uh, let's see. And I voiced a extra in Tamers. My character doesn't show up till later. You voiced a child. I did. I voiced a little boy. It's doing three. A little German uh, boy. <laughs> a little German boy. He's just uh, a little guy. Oh my god. Uh, I also in the game play ER and I play Grayson's partner Terrierman. He's just a little guy. Is that legal defense? I think so. I'm going to say uh, this. <laughs> Your Honor, you weren't even there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Your Honor. You wasn't even there. <laughs> Your I Honor, the, the vibes were immaculate. <laughs> I still love the use of the incorrect tense. Case dismissed. <laughs> uh, from there, uh, next one we have is Zoe. Hello. I am Zoe. <laughs> um... I voice in some stuff, and I'm really good at being uh, off script and just doing shit tons of bloopers that have nothing to do with what we're recording for. And I play Sammy. Woo! There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Got him. Bada bing. After yeah. that, we got Grimbo. Hi. 
It's him. him. It's him. There he is. Oh my god. Hi. It's uh, happening. Grim, you're at like an 11. We need you down by like a 5. You're a real high energy right now. Okay. A <laughs> little more. Okay. There it is. Right here. I think we got it. I think we got it. First try. First try. Uh, hi. I voice uh, Mono Jermon and Reiner in the game. Uh, I voice a bountiful, plentiful amount of characters in our stuff. True. Uh, a lot of side characters. <laughs> this you know, is, like Goblin this is, Slayer. This and... is my fault, guys. I tranked darted him right before the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him with a horse trank oh. real quick before he started introducing himself. This is how I'm going to play today. <laughs> You're just going to be like, everybody up and at him. It's time for training. Get, I'm going to yeah. whip you guys into shape. Right this week, we can get oh, him. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's that one yeah. guy from School Rumble who's like the personification of the color gray. <laughs> Eeyore, the drill instructor. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I will also promote our Discord memberships if you hate Patreon. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, the same thing. Get stuff. Yeah, you can jump on the um, 5 7 and $20 tiers there because they only let us have been trying to tiers. Yeah, we've been trying to fix stuff up because they made it harder, and then oh we God. just fixed it, so we're getting at it, but if you want to support us there, uh, instead of Patreon, understandable. If if uh, Discord could just enable scheduled messages, my whole life would be so much easier. Yeah. Oh my God, I would, yes. It would save me so much time and effort and energy. Oh, anyway, continue. That, that's can we bacon. petition? Can we petition Discord to get those shit together? Probably. But I don't know that they'll do it. <laughs> Fail. <clears throat> they don't check their mail a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't check the uh, notifications on Discord. They self-isolate a lot. If <laughs> only there was some sort of really convenient messaging system that we could use to get a hold of them. Facts. Like a oh, big place where all these people are together and all sorts of little servers everywhere. So we could just yell at them about stuff. That'd be great. A landline. Yeah, Skype, right? <laughs> Yeah, so I, just looked at the <laughs> so I just looked at the stream and, uh, hmm, that's Yeah, awesome. I that's... haven't been addressing that, but we're yeah, almost we'll, we'll... into your fucking wait, wait. four. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking mad people. I know it's been a minute, guys, and we've missed you all, and we greatly, like, we're there, but, like, uh, it's a holiday I know, I know I'm not supposed to acknowledge it before we get to donations, but what... You guys are crazy and insane, and we love you. Thank you so much. True. For real, just like <laughs> is this, is this guys revenge. <laughs> and, yeah, this is this is revenge for us not being able to stream for the last few weeks. The spirit of Christmas we... haunts us all. Yeah, <laughs> like a, a ravenous happier... poltergeist. <laughs> like Mariah I mean... Carey on December first. <laughs> oh my god! Like, like I mean... Mariah Carey on on November thirtieth. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh my god, I hear the ghostly wails from afar and just like, you. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I can hear the I can hear the ice cube cracking. <laughs> oh my god. See the whole way. Turn on to a prison. That would be such a stupid funny skit of like a ravenous ghost that all it wants for Christmas is you but in like a murder way. <laughs> <laughs> I I just want to play this like a Christmas. Holly. All it wants for Christmas. Is you. Like, I once played a holiday one shot where I was just like a, a cranky herringon who hated Christmas because he was like the embodiment of Easter. Nice. And all I want to do now is like play that same character, but like trying to stop Mariah Carey from awakening. <laughs> See her away, <laughs> cast her back. Just... <laughs> I want to play uh, a chaotic, evil, chained ghost that is the spirit of Christmas. That all it does is murder everything in sight, and the party has to keep it chained up before it just goes on a murder spree. Favorite and thing be about secretly that. Mariah Carey the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, yes. My favorite thing about the one shot was when it was like Neo Kaku, who was the 4th of July. <laughs> I, I was, he was responsible for the shot that was heard around the wall. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Anyway, all this to say, next up we have Nick. Oh yeah, oh, hi. I, I'm here. Yeah, that, I'm that guy and whatnot. Uh, hi, it's it's me, Nick. I uh, do a couple of things for the channels and things like that. Mainly, uh, you know, I do a couple of voices here and there. I don't do any writing because I, I can't. I can't use my hands, and uh, I don't do any editing yet. 
Uh, and, you know, because I can't use my hands. But uh, but I do do some voice work here and there. And I also, I guess, technically, I'm uh, I'm the guy that helps make this show happen a little bit. You know, the, the guy who's, like, behind the screen, behind, behind the screen, the screen. You know, that one. Our guy in the chair. Yep. Yeah, that one. I am in a very nice chair, by the way. Hell yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You deserve there it. You it, was, it was a birthday gift. So oh, my yeah. old chair was a mess. I remember Grim sat on like a, a wooden kitchen chair for like a year and a half as his computer desk chair. That's good. It, it was like putting myself in like, you know, being like a monk. And I, I feel like I've, I've passed the a test and deserve the new chair I've had for the past year. So You've reached Good. Nirvana. I was going to say, please don't tell me you're still sitting on that wooden chair because otherwise the spirit of Christmas will take over my body and you will really have to catch up in your gift giving like you've read. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> You're so far behind. He's so far behind oh. me. I Give me your wish list. I oh. are at least... Oh. I'm no sprinting to the gifted. end of the year. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys about my janky first setup for my desk. Oh, it was <laughs> it was awful. Also, I just want to say thank you, Doctor Psycho, for the gifted ten of Bridge Lines oh, memberships. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that is so cool of you. Thank you. We love it. Are we are we ready for me to blast through these donations? Uh, as oh, soon as I pull a document that has where all of my tokens and where all the Vans tokens are, yes, I now have it ready, so God. rip off the Band-Aid. All right. <laughs> First donation so on December 2nd from Alec Reef. <laughs> oh, wow. He wasted no time. You for, thank you for being at the ready for that. $5. Saying, may this $5 be good luck to you all and apologies to you, Chase, for last stream when I didn't respond to your question. I passed out and was asleep for an episode. Enjoy. It do be like that. He mentioned me by name. I assume that's for me. I'm going to take the point. Thank Put you. Put it man. in the Gary slot. <laughs> slap Dude, this it, is a Gary shaped slap point. Slap that bad boy. Slap it in there. This bad boy can hold so much inspiration. I think that was for Impmon, actually. So <laughs> you, you know what? You're right. You know what? Name. I have a couple extra points. I'll just take like all of mine out and just give them to Impmon. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Put it, uh, put it in that character. <laughs> slap him in there. He holds so much inspiration. Uh, from there, we got Christopher Ramos who donated $5. Uh... They say happy holidays to my favorite schmucks in the world. I would like to wish you all safe holidays since this is the last session of the year. Speaking of, this is the last session of the year. We're going to see you all in January. Yeah, yeah. we'll see you all in January after this one's over. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> holidays. Let's, like nothing... that. Holidays Let's hope we don't end on a dramatic cliffhanger. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> uh, uh, there, they continue saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to the Digi Destiny <clears throat> crew. Token to whoever needs it. Much love as always, Chris. I Who's have two. All right, you're probably lowest. Anyone lower than two? <laughs> Loyalty <laughs> tends to make me at the bottom a lot. All right, Van, I, hey. I, I, I think Van Mon needs it. You know wait. what? I... <laughs> Chase, wait. All right, so uh... <laughs> for the amount of stuff that Van Mon needs to do to do stuff, he yeah. is the lowest. Yeah. Okay. You know so, what? Uh, I'm Chase, about please. to pick up the disloyal flaw. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Right. Yeah, Heal you, tokens you, from you, the van to fuel your own. All right, Storm, take your token. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> From there, we have Botluck, who donated $10, saying, Botluck here, uh, I have nothing witty to say. So, uh, take these points, Nick. Two points. Uh -huh. Aha! So, thank you so much, Botluck. As someone uh, from something witty entertainment mood, uh, we yeah. could have come up with a different name. We didn't. Uh, <laughs> I love time. something witty's name. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time. It's a great name. Next up, we got Alec Reef, who donated $5, and says, Hey, Nick, I just want to say thank you on behalf of myself and the community for the amazing story you have weaved. As thanks... Oh, we've got another donation. It distracted me. As thanks, I want to give you an opportunity. You can choose to have a gift now or later. Choose wisely. Uh, oh, God, that's ominous mm -hmm. <laughs> especially mm -hmm. during the time of gift giving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nick do you know wait, do you know where your family is <laughs> i, I <laughs> hope they, they might have your family i hope they're upstairs <laughs> oh god uh you know what because i i'm will i'm a patient man hence i have to deal with all of these individuals here <laughs> good if you've Smart, if you've good. listened to the shorts and you've seen them and all of the lovely editing that Red does, it's just like Nick trying to herd cats for five minutes. Mm -hmm, Pretty much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it'll be a, a gift for later. So if if by later you mean end of stream slash whenever stream like break time is, sure. But, you know, we'll we'll wait. <laughs> so. Heck yeah. 
You got it. And I assume that that was one token because it was calling me out on that. Yes, I'm going to assume All the right. same. Very uh, well. Next up, we got Jamsai, who donated $10, <laughs> saying, Hee hee, it's my first dono. I can't put my excitement into words. I expect fan art from me. Expect fan art from me in the future. Peace out, y'all. Heck yeah. Oh, thank Always you. Always super excited awesome. for fan art. Thank you so we, much. We, we get love so our hyped fan when, art. Mm -hmm. We get so hyped and we love it, as you can see on screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we love showcasing mm -hmm. this shit. It's fucking good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Hell yeah. We Very have an entire good. section in the Discord dedicated to that. <laughs> Next up, we got Ad, uh, Ad, who donated $5, saying, Merry Hanukkah, general of being Jewish, Ad here. Hope y'all have a merry outfit. Hope y'all having a happy holidays. For the holidays, all of my copium funds are going to my taxes. Also, uh, better of the siblings, either of the real-life twins or the RP siblings, and the rest vote. <laughs> <laughs> Way to start the session off with chaos. You I'm, I'm here for the violence. We're, we're starting. A, we're starting a violent start. I say we just a, a, after we trans, transition over and after the intro thing, the four of y'all just roll a d20 and whoever gets the highest gets it. Uh, That's fine. Okay. I, I, was, I thought it was like who would win in a fight. I was like, I'm confident that we take Sammy. <laughs> Sir. Oh, oh my why? God. Jesus, mother of God. We're, so, we're like halfway towards five. Man, it's it would be so nice to see the blood gauge before we go off for the year. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> the blood red of Christmas shines brightly. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. This fuel gauge of mine burns with an awesome power. Van Mon tells me to defeat you. Uh, Jesus! From there we got Tangle, who donated fifteen dollars. Uh, oh, Tangle, say, thank you. I can't believe it's been twenty-one episodes and nearly a whole year of Digi Destiny running. You guys have been so incredibly influential for me. I really wanted to thank you all for keeping the show running this long. Happy miscellaneous holidays, tokens to anybody. So that's three tokens. Oh, that's all thanks to them. That's all thanks to you guys. Now. True. I, I have only three. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh. The, uh, I just want to say, because of the copium tax comment, please do not donate unless you are comfortable. Like, if you need the money, yes. do not give us the money. Yes. Please keep your money for yourself if you need it. Please. Yes. For the love of God. Uh, Even if it's really funny, please, mm -hmm. like, take yes. care of yourself. Yes, please <laughs> I, do. I, I can understand the temptation of the funny. He it's does how it I all the time. It's how when I join Schmucks, essentially. Awesome. It's like, haha, yes. I'm in debt, but Nick made the funny noise. Mm -hmm, <laughs> I do. Mm hmm. Uh, also, speaking of uh, y'all making the show as awesome as it is, uh, shout out to my friend Jer, who plays Digimon TCG with me at Locals, who uh, the last time I was at Locals showed up and was like, so don't tell me any spoilers, but I'm at the part of the tournament where it's Duskmon versus Zagunimon, and I'm rooting for Duskmon, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, he'll win the next tournament when they put him in the fucking card game. True. <laughs> True! Yes. He has no TCG support! Let me Get make a deck of my boy! <laughs> you know, that's why, uh, that's that's why Goonimon won. He's gonna be too good. Mm -hmm. That's why that, Goonimon won. Yeah, that's why Goonimon won. Attack. He had way too many card support. There wasn't yep. anything for Dustmon yet. True. Yeah. True. Exactly. So what, what you're saying is that Goonimon cheated. I yes. Think so. Basically, yes. But, it, you know... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, so those are three tokens. Uh, three Where are they tokens, going to be? Whoever people? needs them. Uh, it, who's lowest? So I'm at three. I'm at eight. Three, eight. Uh, I'm Reiner, at five. Sammy. Right, is it five? I'm full. Full, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank Sammy, God. I was, I was about to be like, why is it you all have the highs? This is bad. Um, I think uh, two to Grace and one to Reiner. I'm that sounds that. fine to me. All right, cool. All right. Thank you so much. Very uh, well. Swamp, ha hack the sheets. Give us 15 tokens. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> uh, from there, I'm going to read like another two or three. Uh, we'll That's fine. There. So I wanna I wanna read TMKs because they gave a very very ridiculous amount and there's even more ridiculous amounts yet to come. Yeah. Uh, so okay, we have next up Canadian stranger who donated twenty dollars and sixty cents and said for our frosty equivalent Van Mon. No. <laughs> frosty Love it. the Van Mon. <laughs> it wouldn't be a stream without a Van donation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, few already. Van is slowly growing, and like I said, we are that much closer to the the next uh. What uh, I consider the next like tier list for Van Mon things. Chase, when uh, we hit that tier, then I'm like, I need to make more things because I'm out after this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never mind. Okay, you got it. Uh, I'm gonna read uh, a couple more here. 
Uh, that, next up, we have TMK, who donated three hundred fifty dollars, and they say, uh, "I wonder true! where that's going." True. Anyway. Quick, take these tokens I stole from Santa's workshop. There's enough for everyone to get one token and the rest to go to Van Mon. Now I <laughs> yes, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Now I must disappear before the jolly man tracks me down. It's TMK, what do you expect? You're TMK. never gonna run away from him, TMK. He knows when you're sleeping. <laughs> and when you're awake. He knows if All you've right. been bad or good. For and where you stash the tokens. So, all right, so that's four tokens <laughs> spent for everybody, one for everyone, because Sammy's full and won't, can't take it, unfortunately. I, yep. I, I, I was, I'm just surprised that we all actually got tokens from that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. I, I saw, same. I saw 350, I was like, oh, that's all going to the van. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> same thought, same exact thought. Uh, God the plot twist. Thank you so All right, much, we're, we're we're now even closer to that goal I set. Like oh, we might hit, I think we de I think we're definitely going to hit it this stream. Based oh, on no. based on future donations, I'm going to say probably. Uh yep. next up <laughs> the, we got Mr. Music J uh 216 who donated $10 saying uh two tokens to whoever needs it. If everyone is full, uh throw it at the van. I'm currently drawing different iconic cartoon characters in Gear 5 while listening through your uh, through one of your walls. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's not one. one of my walls. It's cold here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the noise I've been hearing all day? <laughs> I have nine. Uh, okay, okay. So we got nine. Uh, Gary's missing three, so he's pretty full. I got like 12. I'm at six. I think Rano's also at six. Uh, one to each of you then? Yeah, sure. Okay, heck yeah. Very uh, well. Take your things. Uh, I'll read... Three more. I can't three wait for the van to pull up with the fucking I had three more than I thought I did, so just heads up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it's fine, because you've already taken it. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yep, just pull it to everyone. <laughs> Smash them all. Uh, next up, we got uh, Ashjan here. Donated $5. Ashjan here again. Can't wait to see what happens this stream today. Nick, I trust you with this one single treasured token. Use it well. Anyway, have fun. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a player kill. I can feel it all. I'm 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 absolutely gonna waste it on a bit. Good, good, good. 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 That's the good time to use it. Fucking, just on a on a side thing, there was like, there's like a fucking Reddit thread. It was like Reddit, is it okay to kill your players? And someone responded, your players' characters, right? And then just, they didn't reply to it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh, Nick. fuck. In, in, both, in, in both cases, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. It's always ethical. Always ethical. Yeah. Of course. They know what they did. <laughs> uh, it's, it's part of the social contract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good lord. From there, Autumn Woodham donated $1 for the pepper and said, yeah. uh, the other D&D &D game I listened to regularly just ended. So now you guys are the sole source of my D&D &D enjoyment. Well, have fun with that pressure. Oh boy! <laughs> well, <laughs> hey gang, we got promoted. <laughs> Woo! Well, oh. shit. With someone's background noise, hell yeah! Yeah, mm -hmm. we live in the walls now. All right, boys, get ready. We're, we're about to have to put the ass in Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Squat day, never skip. <laughs> hell yeah! Oh yeah, Chase. Uh, I actually, I have something to tell you that's kind of fun. The kind of stupid after the stream. Oh boy, I'm excited. <laughs> Write uh, it down so you don't forget. True. Fair enough. I'm about to experience things. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we got Bad Sage Advice who donated fifty dollars, and they said, "How much Woodmon could a Woodmon Chuckmon would Chuck? Yeah, Woodmon Chuckmon Chuck. If a Woodmon Chuckmon could Chuck Woodmon, tokens to three people of Red's choice and two for the van." Ow. Wait, what? Red <laughs> chooses three people to receive a token, and then two tokens go to the van. All Allegedly. me. <laughs> no, True. no, I'm kidding. Uh, where's everyone else at? Because I know Sammy's full. So the thing with that is that they noted fifty dollars and said tokens to three people at Fred's choice and two for the van. So there's, I feel like that oh. math ain't mathin'. So we, yeah, I don't got, think like, that math is math correct. He got forty to forty dollars of the tokens to distribute. Uh, Wait, so, so divide by five. You got eight tokens. tokens. Yeah. You got eight yeah. tokens, and two of them are going to the van. So yeah. uh, distribute I'm, I'm missing eight tokens five. How you will. Do what you will. Uh, Storm, how much you missing? Uh, I'm at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I, I'm missing eight. Grim? Uh, I'm missing four. Uh, and Chase? I'm missing three. Uh, and I have what twenty? You said? No, you've got eight you to eight, mess eight with. Eight tokens. 
Oh, eight tokens. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Eight, eight tokens to distribute as you choose. You're in character. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I was I was transitioning into ER when this pressure was put upon me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> two to everybody. Okay. You di you disobeyed the rules technically since it said three people with Fred's choice, but oh, it's fine. Oh, in that case, two to two to you three. What about the uh, other two? Fuck! Uh, <laughs> 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 Women chase. It's so much Women chase. No, no Chris, you're done. Yeah. Look guys, what you've done. guys, why did you give this to the guy that plays the ER? <laughs> the audience knew what they were doing. <laughs> you, you don't understand. I was so good at math. I walked down on my final in college and still got an A. <laughs> I'm, I'm so good at math. He's what have gone you done? Method. <laughs> I've gone, oh. I've gone native. He's gone <laughs> method. <laughs> oh Christ. Okay. All right. So oh, that's right. two Apparently... for. Two for everyone, save for ER, and then those leftover two, where are those going? Uh, the Grayson and, uh, Rhino. Good. Okay. Good, yes. We got there. We uh, did and it. And then last, last donation before we jump on in is from Setzer Zakion, who donated $360. God he damn. Himself. <laughs> <laughs> True. I paused because yep. I knew that was coming. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, from there, uh, they say, Hey there, DigiDestined and Digital Master. Here is $60 of adversity tokens to you all, and the rest to Vanmon. We all know the van needs it, after all. Okay, that's so true. let me see if I can math this right. So that means so 12, 12 are going to, to everybody else. Players, which should be enough and to tell everyone. Six... Okay, yeah, and I would hope we so. Be, we should be completely full before stream. I'll then take why one. the fuck did I sweat trying to switch? <laughs> that, was, that was for me. <laughs> that was for me. Alrighty, so it's 60 <laughs> tokens to the van, and then everybody else fills uh, up, basically. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chase just saw me dancing. He's like, good, yes. <laughs> yeah. me. Yes. Uh, Grim, how many are you missing now? Uh, before uh, that, it was two. In? Okay, uh, Storm, how many are you missing now? Before that. Uh, I am missing, uh, long sheet, long, uh, I'm missing five. Five, okay. And then, uh, Red, how many was ER missing? Uh, I was missing, uh, uh, six. Okay, there were four left after that, so take the four. You're only missing two. Okay. There we go, we did it, first try, bada boom. And the van has been fed, and with that, we can jump on in. Excellent, and we are, let's see if I can math this correctly, uh, d d d d yep. 11 van tokens away from the the next upgrade which i'm pretty sure we've already met given all other donations but mm -hmm. it's fine i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna give this let's to you guys let's get a anyway. christmas one shot in jan <laughs> <laughs> july <laughs> in you july know, that's you know, not jan july or Ari. no but the next the next goal that i wrote on here was it for another van mod upgrade <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. which we're pretty much there at this point. So props, thank now, you, everyone. <laughs> we get to the top of the mountain, and we find out it has a grappling hook to get over mountains. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's funny. Too little, we'll too get... late. <laughs> anyway, we'll get there. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. Oh, uh, with that, we'll roll on into game, and uh, I'll summon our lovable narrator. Who could he be? <laughs> I hope it's all awesome this time. And we're back. <laughs> When last our tale was told, our digipals took some time to grieve their losses, mourn the fallen, and share a few things about themselves. Terrible parents, enormous expectations, the ocean being the true villain. They've, they've been through a lot, even before being kidnapped by computers. Sadly, they also learned Sukumon left with the chrome digizoid that was rightfully theirs to steal. There is no justice in this world. <laughs> but at least Wendigomon was sticking around as a new protector of the underground. With tearful goodbyes, the gang left with the van and headed for the server peaks, where they hope to unlock the terminal and visit old friends of Sammy's who haven't died yet. Who do you think it's gonna be? I don't want to be obvious, but I have a grim feeling that Leo. I have a grim feeling about that Leoman fella. Find out today on Digi Destiny. Excellent. The ocean is the bad guy. <laughs> True. Of course. Anything more so. than four inches of water is a bad guy in this campaign. <laughs> yes. We're going, yes, that's how it goes properly. <laughs> we'll go and encounter like pool mon and we're all gonna be like, it's on site. <laughs> Unacceptable. Did you see what they did to the pool mon? They flipped the bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
by Ugh. Splash Mom's like, kick its ass. <laughs> so, you all had arrived on the current day, which I actually did write down how many days we've been in the digital world, which, uh, shout out to Day 19, everyone. Woo! Give it up for Day 19! Get it up! Get on up! 19 days in the digital world, how did they go? Well... <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Funny you so, ask. Very swell. Very, very easy, actually. We met a Sukumon. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was the worst thing that happened. <laughs> Just a yeah. little bit. So, a lot of you currently uh, stand at the base of the server peaks. The desert sands have given way to rocky, rugged terrain, a little bit of greenery here and there, and the swirling of the winds. And as you look above towards the peaks, you can see that there are various storm clouds that appear to be obscuring the tip top of the server peaks. I'm sure that's okay. Gary, you know this van is not capable of climbing a mountain. I knew it wasn't before, before it Beforehand. tanked a, a skyscraper. This is true. But that said, uh, as you get out and look at the tires that are not bald, but definitely have seen a lot of wear and tear both before and during its stay in the digital world, you wonder how well it might be able to climb a mountain. Yeah. And it's and the efficacy of that potentiality. Uh, that I will said, point out. Go ahead. Playmon was the one that worked on the tires, so if it if it doesn't work, blame him, not us. Buddy, maybe maybe not. Uh, okay. <laughs> that said, uh, Grayson, uh -huh. you have been sitting in the uh, in the co-pilot seat basically the entire time. I've been running meaning, shotgun. Yes. Meaning you have access to all of the augmentations that were installed via Toy Agumon. Uh huh. And you also have access to the manual that was provided for the the Digi Beetle. Probably one of the only few people here who's bothered to read the manual. Just a little bit. So I would say if you'd like to, you can make me a brains check. Uh, and you can use this as a planned action. Because uh, I'm setting the DC to 10 on this one. I will planned uh, action this then. To be able to find what other potential augmentations were done to the van that might be able to help you all with this. And with that planned action 10, you make your way through the various pages and you can find that there is a note actually tucked in from Toy Agumon that is a new augmentation that was not originally put in with the uh, with the Digi Beetles upgrades. Give me a quick moment here, and I will go ahead. Hand out. Hand, hand out. out. <laughs> uh, this handout already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys again. As you now have access to the newest function of the Digi Beetle, the All Terrain Van Mon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo! The van is capable of altering its exterior to travel into many different locations, from climbing the highest of peaks down to the lowest of caverns. You must spend 100 adversity tokens to activate this ability. Oh my good goddamn. What's, what's it at right now with adversity points? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> the van's current token count right now is 2,489. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. And remember, you laser? guys have spent tokens before. The to the the laser, I believe, is 150 that you spent. That sounds right. Oh, we've used that yeah. twice. What? You've used it once. <laughs> oh, I thought we used it. Oh no, that's right. The baby was already down here. Yep, and you've used a few tokens from the van like early on before you had access to uh, van mon abilities. A few uh, like here and there, but that's about <laughs> it. Grayson will spend a hundred tokens. Very well. We'll go ahead and spend 100 tokens from Vanmon. Putting us down to 2,389 tokens. Has it been Grayson every time to use Vanmon tokens? Uh, it has, because you were the one who activated the cannon. <laughs> yes. So, Grace with a couple like of... like Vanmon co-pilot. With a couple of quick presses into the console here. Uh, Gary, you feel 
uh, some shifting around of the shocks as you sit in the uh, the driver's seat. As you look over to Grayson, who's just messing with things. And you get out. And sure enough, the van has altered its form to where it now has, instead of the four wheels, they are now connected by heavy treads that appear to have, like, kind of uh, spikes attached to them to be able to help to grip to the rocky terrain. <laughs> huh. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. M might as well be able to climb a mountain in a van. This one's weird. This one is awesome. Huh. All right. Well, uh, I guess let's get in and be very excited that we don't have to climb a mountain on foot. Oh, very well. Yo, did you how want we, how to we ski gonna on hold on when it like going vertically or like you know like weird shit like you that? Got, like, you got, <laughs> you got, you got seat belts. It's not going ninety yeah. degrees, guys. It's not Skyrim horse. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying we don't have Shadow Mail? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Shadow Mail, unfortunately. I'm leaving. Well, <laughs> it was a good campaign. Bye. <laughs> He, he but, always uh, looks a little sad that we don't get to climb the mountain. Like, no, oh, man, I was waiting for a hike. We get so, enough exercise, man. Okay. That said, let's go ahead and we'll Maggie Mon is putting bit. the uh, climbing gear back into his hat. Ah, oh, well, I uh, wish you guys would have told me sooner. <laughs> you guys begin your ascent up the server peaks. And, Sammy, from your memory, when you were traveling uh, down the mountain, or up, sorry, up the mountain with Meteor Mon, it was definitely quick, but it's uh, it's not as quick as uh, as Meteor Mon was going in the in the van at the moment. Meteor Mon was able to get you to the top within the day, essentially, whereas the van is going at a pretty decent pace but nowhere to match that speed. But it will, you'll most likely reach the uh, the peaks sometime tomorrow. Hell yeah. <laughs> that said, as you were all making your way up the mountain, the gales begin to increase in strength. And Gary, it's becoming pretty difficult to keep the wheels steady as you're going up. Aside from the rugged terrain, which is a lot more manageable now, given the transformation to the van. But it feels as if the mountain itself is trying to force you away from the peak. I would like you to go ahead and make me... I think for this one, we're going to make it either... a... I'd say a, either a, a brawn or a flight check, your choice. And I will let you add a plus two bonus to this because you've you've been with the van your entire life, essentially. Fair. Uh, the DC for this is going to be 12 that you Ooh. have to beat. Okay. All right. As the road up is getting more difficult. All right. Here we go. Flight check. Go. That's not bad. I'll spend three. Very well. You feel the wind tugging you towards the side, almost nearly off the edge of the narrow pathway that you're going on. But you hard crank to the other side just to be able to overcorrect. And it keeps you on the path just as it begins to widen out a little bit more. The difficulty of the drive continues this way for a good while. It is taking a lot of attention for you to be able to maintain on the wheel and make sure you don't get knocked over from one side to the other. <sighs> Hold on to something, everybody. I don't think this is letting up anytime soon. As you make uh, your way further up. Go ahead. Oh. Just put it on seatbelts. I mean, things. You guys didn't have seatbelts on before? <laughs> I never wear a seatbelt. That explains some things. They, they, they don't work half the time. <laughs> yeah, not for me. They keep breaking. I don't know. What you keep, you know how you keep trying to put it working? in? 
Yeah. You know how you cheap try to put it in an old car and it just won't click? It just yeah. won't click. And you gotta also, get my just seat... right to click. Also, my seat just has two female ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that opening to Jurassic Park. <laughs> just, just tie them in a knot, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I never checked the back seats. <laughs> To be fair, most of it is for storage, so. This is somehow my fault, I'm sure. <laughs> nah, it's great. Nods. It's Toyaguma, <laughs> he didn't fix it. Oh. <laughs> we trek up the mountain in this horrible, horrible machine. <laughs> and as you are making your trek up, you feel a bit of a rumbling. More so from the ground itself versus the wind battering you. And for those who are sitting near the window seats, uh, so those who are sitting in the back, like Sammy, Reiner, and ER, you would begin to see the boulders descending towards the van. Um, oh, no. Hey, Gary. So if someone would like to <laughs> attempt to try and either notify Gary or have a way to deal with those boulders as they come crashing down. Well, I only have a grappling hook, so... Uh, you also Gary, have there's boulders. <laughs> Let me get out there. <laughs> I'll head but the boulders. Hey guys, this boulders is coming at us. Do we want uh, Majumon slash Strikemon to head butt the shit out of these things? Uh, has Gary read much of this manual? I feel like he would have wanted to have read some read some of this manual, but I am currently at the wheel. You are currently at the wheel, so I would say if you want to recall things about the van, uh, I'd say go ahead and give me a brain check. I'll set the DC to eight. Okay, that's fine. Guys, I can't open the door. My my claw hands are letting me open the door. <laughs> the, it's Gary, they're, they're close. locked. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's real low. Uh, Alrighty. I ain't no shit. Um, I guess it's time to take evasive maneuvers, y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, so to go ahead and take your uh, token for failure in this one, you do we want to throw out the like boom? How big are these boulders? Uh, currently, there's three that are approaching you, and they're approaching pretty quickly. They are about the size of, uh, we'll say, about the size of Salomon. <laughs> so they're gonna make some dents into the van if they impact. Okay, yeah, that uh, were a beautiful boy. van get dented, guys. Okay, uh, Gary, unlock, unlock the door. I'm back, what I miss? Is that a good boulders. idea? Boulders are f rolling down the mountain. I'm a thumb just... oh, strike your mind at him. <laughs> now my, my seatbelt's <laughs> locked. I can't unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm going to try to, instead of unlocking the door and throwing like a 40 pound little guy into gale force winds I'm a with digi boulders on coming. I'm gonna do. do we... a, I'm gonna try a flight check to evade the boulders in the van that can go like a hundred miles per hour. Very, very well. So you're going to attempt a flight check to avoid them. I would say go ahead and again, you'll take that plus two bonus for this one. Okay. We're gonna set the DC for this to thirteen. Okay. I believe in you. I'm back. Hooray! Welcome back. That's way. That is okay. an eleven. I'll spend my two. I'll spend two. Alrighty. There we go. So, also, I just want to remind us all: the the van has a cannon. It does, but it's a little hard to. <laughs> to aim a very large cannon upwards and had a backwardsish ankle. That sounds like yeah. naysayer talk. Like Gary Gary also use the catapult bit... while it's moving. Gary was also a bit <laughs> in the moment in trying to do stuff, so he forgot there was a cannon. That's also <laughs> fair. So, with some extensive, powerful driving maneuvers, you are able to swerve just out of the way as each boulder impacts, one right behind the van, one that lands actually right in front of the van and bounces before you can actually hit it. And the last one, you make a sharp turn towards another different direction uh, down the path to be able to avoid the last boulder coming down. For the second boulder, Grayson is being the worst kind of backseat driver. Gary, turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Break. Break. So Monotron didn't have seatbelt on. Was he just like going? Like, I was about like hitting. Himself. I was about to say. I think. I think you and I were both trying to unlock the door as all that was happening. So I think I'm going to I assume gosh, that uh, that I sharp think, turn gosh, to avoid the last one was because Monotron was slammed to the side. It was enough to push the van slightly <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Yay! I helped. I, I like to think that we like he always trying to help you with the door, so we both got our shit rocks. <laughs> And you see that where you have turned into is uh, an area that is 
kind of obscured by more rock, almost a uh, self-imposed ravine. And it is here that you can see that the uh, the area is a lot more calm. You can still hear the winds that are blowing about you, but they are not directly affecting you at this point. And as far as you can tell, this area would provide a moment of calm before returning back to the storm. Okay, I say we stay here because that sucked. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with you. that. <laughs> Do we have a projector for like a movie night or something? Uh, we have the Vans DVD player. Cool, let's let's put on a movie or something. I'm tired. Guys, it was middle of the day, I believe, when uh, you arrived at the at the mountain. So I'd say with plenty of the driving you've been, it's it's getting later. Hey guys, how'd I end up under the chair? Where'd I go just now? <laughs> it won't help me. The seatbelt's restricting my blood flow. <laughs> it's it okay, locked in shit. action when we moved, and I can't undo it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh God, it's neck. I know to never trust the seatbelt. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it, uh, Maggie Mon goes into his uh, hat to like. Okay, let's see what we have here: scissors, butcher's knife. Uh, Chainsaw. Aha! Here we go. Uh, Takes out a pair of safety scissors and tries. Oh, it unlocked. Got... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I just got the safety scissors. Could you not like mutilate the van? Like but Gary, the safety. Yeah, fix the seatbelts, man. Gary, I almost died. Gary, the the safety scissors. The safe to use. But they'll cut the thing that I don't know how to fix. Oh. Well, maybe I can get another seatbelt. <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just be happy that we didn't get run over by boulders and also blown off the side of the mountain. Oh yeah, that was scary. He also gonna look up the mountain. Can he see where the boulders came from? Uh, from the ravine that you guys are in currently, it seems to be like in, uh, superimposing a lot of shade into the area, so you can't really tell what direction the boulders might have come from. The best you could guess, maybe, is from around where the storm clouds were forming. Hey, Sammy, when you were here last time, did you run into any trouble? Uh, not like this. It was clear skies the whole time. Salomon, you were here before I was. Is this kind of thing normal around here? This is definitely not normal on this end of things. It's usually Cause... relatively calm due to Phoenix Mon keeping it that way. Because I just want to point out, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility for that to have, for those not to have been blown by the wind, but to have been pushed or thrown. You think the mountain's attacking us? I'm just saying, with all luck, I would not suspect if like a, a Digimon just saw us and was like, oh, that looks fun to kick. So, I mean, that does kind of track with all luck. Yeah, I just wanted to mention it so like, you know, go it up, everybody. This might not be as simple of a Journey as I was expecting. Why is nothing <sighs> easy? I know. Can we just get one day? I certainly hope that Phoenixmon is okay. That's another concern. And On Phoenix the bright side. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is, you said the Phoenixmon protect this area? Yes, Phoenixmon is the leader of the server peaks. They're yeah. the one that's in charge of making sure that. Things are okay up here, and even on the base of the mountain. Well, they're probably just taking a nap or something. Very long nap, then. Maybe, yeah. maybe he's not just picking up his alarms. I don't know, I feel so storm clouds be a pretty loud alarm. Yeah, I don't know that anyone could sleep through the wind sounds that are going on up there. Nevertheless, boulders coming down the, the mountain. Yeah. Maybe this is just uh maybe this is just like his new uh new normal, you know? Like this is this is what's okay now. Redecorating. Like yeah, like yeah, yeah. This seems oh, yeah. chill and Aye. good and like you wouldn't get thrown five hundred feet in the air by a swift breeze. We've only been gone for so long, I doubt the Phoenix Mon would have changed so drastically. Is Phoenix Unless... Mon capable of something like this before? 
I know Phoenix Man is the one who usually keeps things calm around here. I didn't know if they were capable of making things worse. Is there a storm drum on by chance that we can like assume is responsible for this? Like, is there is there anything like that in Digimon? Any Digimon that can change the weather. <laughs> you think I could be a storm drumon? <laughs> oh, probably. If you believe hard enough, anything's possible. <laughs> okay. You just blindly believe Majumon can kick anybody's butt. <laughs> If I stare at the storm clouds, eventually they'll go away. <laughs> I'll be intimidated by my greatness. Eventually, storm clouds realize they're a punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. on the bright side, there is one good thing to come out of this. What's that, Magimon? Now we can show Solomon Shrek 2. <gasps> I'm sorry. Magimon. Magimon has a good point. There's no need to apologize, Salomon. We'll get you straightened out right away. Sammy, should I be concerned? No, Shrek 2 is actually one of the better ones. I see. Do wait, I need wait. to know where the prequel was before watching this? I'll give I'll you the give you... Throughout the entire film, I'll talk in your ear and give you the cliff notes. Wonderful. All right, let me just give you a play-by-play. -play. So it starts out with Shrek taking a massive dump. <laughs> And as also, you Sammy, all prepare talking... for movie night. <laughs> also, Sammy, what are you talking about? There's only the two. <laughs> don't tell them. Sammy, don't tell them. What do you mean? <laughs> Sammy, they don't, don't know about them. a very shrek -mas? A very, very <laughs> shrek -mas? Grace and Light, Shrek the Third. <laughs> <laughs> I say that as someone who has not seen Shrek the Third. <laughs> well, we have seen Shrek the Third. You forgot about it. I've locked it from my memory, apparently. News uh, updates from the front lines. Storm Excellent. has seen Shrek the Third. He doesn't even remember Shrek the Third. He doesn't even remember Shrek 3. <laughs> Such a shame. A, oh, yeah, that's one with Arthur in it, right? Yep. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> oh, it has Yikes, one good indeed. Joke. Also, Someone better dragon. be dying. I'm dying. Ooh. <laughs> 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 that joke was uh, that was funny. Fuck anyone who disagrees. <laughs> exactly. Pretty damn good. So as uh, movie night begins to wind up and you all uh, start your your viewing of uh, <laughs> this has almost become a weekly thing at this point. Your weekly viewing of a Shrek film. How the same long, Shrek film. Question: How how stormy, windy, bad is it outside this ravine? Is it like normal weather here, or is it like still just kind of like raining and bad and not fun, but not deadly? It's uh. Well, the ravine itself is because it's essentially like two sheer rock faces that are blocking the outside winds. You can't feel the wind itself like blowing and badgering at you guys, but you can hear it. It's definitely like whistling away pretty damn hard. There is no rain, though. Okay. It so... just feels as if like it's almost like preparations for like uh, like tornado weather. Like just it, things are getting very windy, almost okay. derecho style. <laughs> So if we if there if we can't really feel the wind or and and there's no rain we could go out and cook and have a nice yes meal you could movie night. yes indeed you could heck yeah I'll Which means I'll let Reiner could uh, do a I'll let Reiner decide what point. cool thing we we made for food when Grim is back exactly I, when I, that I, this idea came up as soon as he left for a second <laughs> <laughs> so it, so whilst uh, whilst Reiner is preparing food at the moment uh, did anyone else have any things they would like to like to discuss amongst each other, uh, the Digimon or things like that. As the uh, the evening is now somewhat peaceful before before going on. Yeah, uh, Gary has something. I'm checking if anybody mm -hmm. else has something too. I'm checking. Uh, Teriyamon might want to talk to Gary about the plan he has, but we'll see. Okay, we can do that first. Uh, all right. Uh, Teriyamon comes up to you, Gary. Like, hey, Gary, I have a plan. I might want your help with. Okay, ominous. Go on. Right. So, Wizardmon came to me and said that he wanted my help to you know, learn how fun works. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, okay, let me just pull this up. Can you? Yeah. See, I have this very scientific chart that would be integral in in this plan. And he shows you his doodle. 
Uh oh. Um, in front yes. of God and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is so great. This Dude, is so. <laughs> please, Nick, could you add this to the roll twenty as a handout so I, that we can? I'm, see I'm gonna see if you know. What? I'm gonna see if I can. Give me a moment. Uh, to, uh... Chase, you, you should be able to like maybe download this and show it on no, stream I, if you. I, I, I'm doing it right now. Give me a moment. Hell I'll make yeah. it, I'll make it work. This is just as this, is, <laughs> this reminds me of the Terryomon heistable heist. Uh, Terryomon. Yeah, who do you think I got to draw this one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me make a handout here real quick. Uh, I helped with this one. <laughs> you did. I came to you with like a very specific vision, and you was like, "I got you." <laughs> the original version of this was done way too cleanly and done like. <laughs> me doing VFX and Chase remind me, no. It was like done with polish and panache and skill. And I'm like, no, no, Terriermon drew this. Hold on. And <laughs> very well, give me a moment. I made it. So Chase, do this with... Here we go. We will show this to everyone. So this is Terriermon's perfect plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let, me, let me zoom in on this so everybody can see it. Uh, you, you can click the image and it pops it out. There we go. I think that looks good on the stream. We, we love the triangle of fun lad, rude, and nor. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, the, digi the digi the digi code on the side says very scientific plan. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to put the other champions in here. <laughs> I specifically only requested the rookies and one ma wizard mon. <laughs> Take him on off on his own. Oh, no. Holy <laughs> hell, that's... Ah, that's beautiful. Oh, I can only zoom in so much for everybody to see the fancy chart. Uh, we'll, we'll post it in the server. So yeah, I'll post it in the, the server. Uh, God, it's it's so good. Mono is my favorite. Yes, I love how just the open mouth just ah. Uh, <laughs> His overbite sent me to another fucking dimension. Uh, also rude with a gasp there. Just <laughs> oh, Impamon's so angry. <laughs> I just, I, I'm so a fan of, of Salomon just with the tongue out, just bleh. <laughs> Salomon alone stands at the noise. <laughs> a paragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, love it. I was like, how does Tamon feel about Salomon? Anyway, anyway, you see, <laughs> how do you think? I, I, <laughs> you see, we have fun lads up here, very scientific. And then we have Ipmon. Who's down here as a rude boy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wizardman, he's somewhere between, uh, like a spoiled sport, an arc, and a rude boy. So, it is my goal to get him closer to Fun Boy, the Fun Lad. Yeah, I see how he is on the exact opposite axis of that chart. Um, question. Yeah. How how does anyone else get to the? what I assume is a circle in the upper upper left here. The the perfection section? Yeah, that's for me. That's just you. Yeah. Nobody else? I mean Maybe if they try hard someday they can they can join me. Okay. Alright, fair. Fair. Alright, you know you, you know it's it's your method. I'm not who am I to question it? I'm not in the perfection area. I wouldn't know. I have a lot of I have a lot of hope for Salomon. I think I think they can get a fun lad. I think they they, they have the potential. Dude, like, and the thing that's wild is Sistermon is so not a narc. I know. It's very confusing to me. It's, they just, they just shift. A switch yeah. is flipped. It's like wizard mods. <laughs> exactly. True. That's what, you know what? Next, next uh, chart is for Sistermon. We gotta make Sistermon a fun lad. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like I like the chart. I think it's very informative. Uh, I think that uh, I think that Wizardmon can learn a lot from that. Yeah. Step one, I want to teach him the way to the heist. All right. So you're gonna convince him to to do crimes. All right. Great. Love it. Just very small stuff like borrow your skateboard or Impmon's eye patch. Okay. On it. Yep. All right. Yep. But you know we gotta we gotta take chances and make choices to to become different so that's fine fun little just fun little adventures sure i'm so far okay with this question have yes. you run any of this by grayson no yeah i figured 
Uh, you know what? It's fine. We're just gonna take some. We're gonna. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate action. We're gonna. We're gonna take some chances here. Yes. All right. Well, have have fun with that. Uh, let me know when you want me to digivolve him to Wizard Mon, so you can talk to him about this plan. Will do. I I, I will reach out to you soon. He kind of folds up the plan and, it, and like it's a scroll and kind of goblins like kind of cartwheels away into the shadows. I'm just imagining he like takes one of his ears <laughs> and drapes it in front of him like a cloak and then like disappears yes. in the shadows. Yes. <laughs> the entire time he's he's humming his own theme music. <laughs> he goes into the shadows. <laughs> Tyria! <laughs> Tiptoes out back into the lights to finish watching Shrek 2. Terry, your mom does the heisting. Terry, your mom. I love it. I love it. God damn it, I think this is another short. Terry! Terry! I love love this little grounded monster. See, now all we just need is artwork of Terrier Mon hanging from like one of those high wires (laughs) and like trying to dodge lasers. And then we just see Wizard Mon floating down because he doesn't need one. When you said him hanging from a high wire, I it, I thought hanging upside down like a bat with his ears like wrapped up around him like a bat sleeps. <laughs> and then the thought of like just thousands of Terrier Mons. Games. Like thousands of Terrier Mon in a cave and just somebody makes one loud noise or says like, oh no, my wallet. And then just all the Terrier Mons just fucking <laughs> drop out. Eyes, like do the like reflective thing. Yeah. <laughs> Tear my descent, but with a bunch of gummy mon. <laughs> oh, oh no! I love it. Oh, I love it. All right. Attack All right. my children. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Heck yeah. <laughs> so while that fun time has happened, uh, Gary, yep. you said you have something else you'd like to do. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, so Gary's gonna go up to Magi Mon. Uh, and be like, hey, um, I said I was going to try to, you know, like, do more things that, uh, you know, I like to do, like magic and stuff like that. So I wanted to show you a trick I came up with. Oh, yeah, sure. Sh- by all means, Gary, show me what you got. Do you need anything? I can get some stuff in my hat. Uh, no, I, I can probably do it on my own without uh, without that. I got I got some stuff around that I could use. Uh, so I'll do spend two points for prepared and get the get the stuff ready for the trick. Uh, Very well. Which uh, includes uh, a ring, like a like a ring to put on your finger. And uh, right. Gary will show Terrier Mon. Uh, Terrier Mon. He already disappeared. <laughs> Terrier. <the> <laughs> he's he's gone. Uh, We're currently so, watching Trek too. <laughs> so Gary is gonna go up to to Magi Mon with the with the ring and say so um. Uh, part of the thing with stage magic is that you like tell like a, a story to get into the to the thing and like part of the show right so uh-huh. so um uh i'll i'll start with that um so the thing is and, and this just to remember this is this is this is fake uh it's not okay. it's like up close magic it's like sleight of hand it's not like it's real magic like you altering the fabric of reality like you do uh, right, this is right. this is like things normal human people could do, but with like obfuscation and sleight of hand. Obfuscation, yeah. Magimon nods his head as if he understands what that word meant. <laughs> right. right. Right, right. Yeah. So, um, right. So, my uh, and again, it's all fake. So, there's a thing that runs in my family, which is that um, <laughs> our fingers come off. Really, really easily, and what? Gary's gonna like put like his finger in front of his thumb and do the this, like separating thumb trick, <laughs> like show him show him that. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> it's okay. Pop right back I, on. I, Pop right back I, on. I, See, and he just like does it. Like, oh jeez, like, just scared right me there. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. No, it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's it's that's normal. It's just it just runs in my family. My family just has that as a thing. So oh, wow, okay. uh, Magma like tugs. His finger, but yeah, man, I I can do that. Yeah, it's that's uh, talent. I mean, you only have like kind of anywhere from two to four fingers based on how you count the yeah. hand. So yeah, I guess I know you have fingers. 
Maybe you wizard knight can do that. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but as as part of that, uh, the thing is, and it, Gary will pull out the ring and like give it to give it to Magimon, like have him inspect it. So like uh -huh. you can see the ring like doesn't come apart. It's like fully solid. It like does its normal thing, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, with with the thing that I have, I can I can actually move the ring from from one finger to another without taking it off from the top. And Gary is gonna like take the ring back, and then do the magic trick where he makes the ring appear to move from one finger to the other. Uh, like just show it off like that and just kind of pop it back Ooh. and forth from finger to finger. And then yeah, you can even like hold the hold the tips of my fingers so you can see, and then he like does that as well and like moves the moves the ring back and forth. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a that's a thing that we can do. It's it's a good time. That's super neat. So when does the uh, obfuscation thing uh, come into play? Well, that. Well, it already did. Uh, I. Oh, uh, geez, you're good at this. <laughs> well, it's it's a uh, it, you know I was you know I wasn't telling the the truth about the finger thing. You can just like do this, and Gary will like turn his hand so that Magimon can see the thumb disappear, the like thumb removal trick, so you can see oh. he's just like hiding the tip of his finger. Ah, oh, okay. So from my there. where I am, it looks that okay. I get yeah. it now. Yeah. Yeah. And then the the ring is uh, well, I have like a real ring that like I, I'd give to you, and then I have like a trick ring that can like pop back and forth over like my fingers, so that it just looks like it's moving back and forth. And then when when I like hand you the ringer, I like palm the other one so you can't see it, and you'll like show that he's got like the spare ring. It's like yeah, and that's like how magic works. Okay, so it's not like pretend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like in, it instills like a sense of wonder in the viewer, and they, they like, like watching yeah. Shrek. Well, heck, it's not real, but it's funny, even though you know it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's like watching Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I I hope I'm getting this right. I I'm gonna say you are. Yep. Yeah. Chris Angel had a whole Vegas show where he just showed everyone Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's fair. You shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody needs to know that guy. It's fine. <laughs> mind freak. <laughs> oh, my mind. Oh, you freak. It's been freaked. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have any other? You know, Kelly, you should do like a show for everyone else. Well, I'd want to like make sure I got the tricks down first, and like that the routines like down and all that. Yeah, like, you can yeah. practice with me, and then you can put on like a big show for like Rhino and Grayson and ER, Sammy. It'd be fun. I can be your assistant. You can saw me in half, but don't actually do that. I don't think I can sew myself back together. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sh I'll make sure not to. It's okay. Well, like we'll have a whole thing set up for that. Yeah, yeah. That could that could be fun. And not yeah. incredibly terrifying to like do this for like a big crowd of people. It's fine. It'd be fun. It, it, it's your friends. They'll be supportive. That's fair. Uh, I mean, they they said they would be. I uh, just gotta not bomb. <laughs> Wait, is that an option? Wait, you're super talented. You got this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but there's like a whole performance thing behind it too. There's like a lot of public speaking kind of, you know, pizzazz, showmanship. Gary, you persuaded a crowd to revolt against High Angelon. Right, that was you got it. the stage presence. That was Independence Day. That that did the heavy lifting. <laughs> I just I just was the vessel. Also, you bamboozled me, an actual magician. I actually use real magic and you tricked me. I mean, that's kind of the thing with Digimon is that they can already perform feats that would be considered magic, like on their own. So that's. That's a whole other thing. I mean, Ipmon maybe, but Teumon could just spin around real fast and summon a twister. Or Majumon could just be fire and Salomon is just holy. That's not magic. That's just them. I mean, I guess. I guess I don't know how impressive this would be to a Digimon, but uh, that's that's fair. You know, I'll, I'll I, try to you should show there. Phoenixmon. I will try to do that. Sure. I bet Phoenix Mon's never seen a magician. I feel like they might have, but you know, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not whatever I'm gonna try to do. Well, let's see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I guess. Sure. Heck yeah. 
Also, Terriamon has a plan involving teaching Wizardmon things, so at some point we'll we'll do some tutoring on that. Oh, great! The, the, the big guy could use uh, some lightening up. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. New, fresh perspective might be nice, especially after being brought to speed. Yeah, that's, uh... That's fair. But yeah, I just yeah. wanted to show you that. I'm, I'm gonna come up with some more tricks and have some more cool stuff to show everybody. Heck yeah. Alrighty, so with that, I assume Reiner has come back and has already prepared a food for the evening for everyone. Yes. Yeah, what did you make for everyone? While you were gone, we established that the weather is nice enough to go outside and use the grill uh, okay. to cook things, so you could make whatever kind of food you'd want to make. Uh, well, it's probably going to be leftovers, so... Um... I, I guess when we stocked up... Uh... Yeah, there's still some food that you guys attempted to cook in the van during the, the sandstorms. True. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> May everyone it's a Pavlovian response, I can't. Mm. Everyone gets hot dogs. Yay! Hot dogs, everybody. Except hot these dogs. times they're actually, like, you know, made by Reiner and not whatever was going on at the stadium. <laughs> Legitimate hot dogs. Yep. Hot dogs I'm just gonna restock of my dogs. dogs. Uh, can, do you want me to help get? No, 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 no. Just me. Just me. Oh, as legitimate as you can get here. <laughs> it's like, let me help you make, let me, let me help you with your purchase. I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Mine was just big on Swanson energy. <laughs> So this uh, don't is worry, a gonna... hot dog, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Say, Alamon, you better watch your back. It tastes <laughs> like this. <laughs> I mean, Terriamon's also a dog. Terriamon, you better watch your back. It tastes like this. Try it. Would it be considered cannibalism if we ate this? Come on, dude. Uh, it's five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you... <laughs> Uh, once. Someone asked that. I could take five at once. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that someone asked that as Terimon had that took a big bite. <laughs> Sammy, have you had these before? Yeah, I love hot dogs. Aren't they delicious, Salamon? I shall give it a try. What do you think? I'm like waiting with bated breath watching. Ipmon's <laughs> also gonna be right next to Sammy, also waiting with bated breath watching, but for opposite energy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna roll a d20 to decide how Salomon likes this. <laughs> Not actually be a dog. He's, your actu <laughs> He's your actually quite good. Do we have any sauce that goes with this? You can try ketchup. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the digital would have for sauce. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Salomon quite enjoys them. Not a favorite, but definitely good. <laughs> it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, Salomon. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't finish yours, I will have them. They're my hot dogs. I'm eating them. <laughs> it's in I'm watching there, five, dude. <laughs> Back off. <up. laughs> I'm going for six. I thought we were each getting two. I thought, Wait, yeah. I thought, okay, like, where did my second hot dog go? Where's my second hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> they were allowed a second one. Maggie Mon and Terry Mon jump Mon Jamon. It's also an impeat dog world. Guys, I'm trying to break a record. <laughs> Do it for me. <laughs> Do He's doing it. Me. He's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine Monodramon is just trying to stuff his face while everyone else is tackling him, like, give them back. <laughs> we, like, have a bunch more hot dogs we could cook. But, of course, guys, I small -sided. made more than that. <laughs> you always just on the ground laughing. <laughs> Gee, Monodramon, how come your tamer lets you get five hot dogs? Because <laughs> he's laughing his that's ass off, that's why. Meme. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient memes. Ain't 
It's from the vault. It checks out. <laughs> it's a classic. It's a boomer meme, sir. It, it's it no meme, sir, but it checks out. Hey, we got there. <laughs> we got there. You did Damn it. it. And you were ahead of, of me again by a second. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, I knew hot dogs would bring people together. That's how we do it. <laughs> and break them uh, apart. <laughs> hot pots uh, did, and dogs. That's how it works. Did anyone have any last minute things they wanted to do before we move on to the next day? As everyone enjoys their hot dogs and their watching of Shrek 2. Which satisfied. is a powerful sentence to be saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going uh, on. Anything else they want to do oh, while yeah, guys, watching? I forgot to train today. <laughs> uh, do you want to do, do some of uh, Terramon uh, Wizards of the Month's genetic anime? Uh, certainly. While all this chaos is happening, might as well. <laughs> Boom, Digivolve. Spending the top. Right. Very well. Magimon, Digivolve 2, Wizard Month. Hey. Yes. Would you like to learn? I, I hear that uh, Gary taught you a little bit about magic today. No, he taught the small one. Whatever, same deal. Uh, but you are you ready? To, are your first lesson of fun? I suppose now is better than never. Right. So must I show him the diagram? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what we're doing with here, right? Why are you off in your own little corner? You're looking at the wrong thing. Yes, I'm dead center at the bottom. Why? Because you are a, because you are not very fun, and you are very rude. Meanwhile, I am very fun and handsome. So we are going to try and have a little fun, you know, a little int. I'm going to show you how to cut loose and have a bit of fun. Are you ready? I got myself into this. This was my idea after all. Commence. Right. Now, I'm going to show you how to commit a heist. I was hoping it wouldn't be anything inane. Well, of course, we're doing a heist. Now, What oh, is there to heist out here in the mountains? Well, first of all, you're being a snippy. You... I'm taking away 20 points. Points for what? You have points. Follow along. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, originally the plan was to, you know, heist the Chrome Dishes Oil off of Sukuman, but we can't do that now because he ran away like a coward. He knew we were onto him. So instead, we could heist... Uh, Yours over there laughing like a lunatic. We could we could borrow his skateboard and try it out. Do you even know how to write that thing? Uh, but Eeyore can write it, so it can't be that hard. I suppose you're right. He is not the brightest one. Okay, that was a, a true but rude. Another five points. Are these good points or bad points? Bad points. You, you haven't heard any good points yet. Uh, we could... If you're interested in seeing Ipmon explode, we could try taking his eye patch. Hmm. <laughs> that would be funny. Eh? I like the attitude there. Five points back to you for good points. Okay, let's go steal his his eye patch. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and try something different. What are you thinking? Hold on, let me pull up his wiki. We have to. <laughs> I have to pull have up to... my stats. Give me a moment. Hold on, like, hold on. The voice before me only had only used one of my abilities. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. We have to distract him because it's on his face. He's. It's gonna be really difficult. This is a high skill ceiling. Y'all would be easier because he's because it's a different item and also he's a yaw. This well, is incredible self-bashing, and I love it. <laughs> I, I know what I'm about. I know what I made. <laughs> I have a plan. Okay. So do we have to do this stealthily, or... Well, we ideally, could just... stealth... ideally stealthily. Because I am funny? big, or I could just run up and take it. No, 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 no. That's not fun. But that would fun. be effective. It... No, but fun is... He is small nobody... and weak, and I am big. No, that... Wizardmon. This is about having fun. It's not fun if someone gets hurt. 
This is okay. fun because it's harmless. We're just taking his eye patch, playing keep away. Okay, I believe I see it now. Yes. We, we just want to rile him up a little bit. This is all just about good fun. Sleight of hand. That what? Let me try something. Very well. Give me a moment. Wizardmon walks up to Ipmon. Ipmon, did you know I come from a strange line of Digimon that can take the fingers <laughs> off? Before you walk up to Ipmon, <laughs> as you approach him, you will hear, Oh, to be Ipmon and full of five to six hot dogs. My grind has never been lower. <laughs> <laughs> Teriamon will try and like, flank in a sneaky maneuver in case he needs to like rush in and just kind of yoink it when he's not. Uh, go ahead and roll me a flight check, then Teriamon, to determine how stealthy you are. I am Teriamon. Bow before my prowess. Uh, so plus two for flights. No, two, not seven. Alrighty. Numbers, everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I, I fat fingered it. Uh, <laughs> do I add anything else for this? This isn't a flight. A fight. Nope. <gasps> no! Well, this is not the other half for loyalty. That's okay. <laughs> We're going to see how distracting Wizardmon is with their attempt at a magic show. So I would say, Wizardmon. My hubris. <laughs> go ahead and give me a charm check. And whatever that number is, we will add to the flight check to determine how distracted <laughs> Impmon is. <laughs> oh, that's All right. Wizardmon, but he gets the point. That's fair. So that is an 18. So Ipmon, you must meet or beat an 18 on a grit check to notice something's going on. You got it. Impmon adds 18? zero to grit. Oh, grit? Okay. Is, is this You're trying to be aware wrong? of your surroundings. Figure out what's going on. But, the, but then it's it's Chase who's rolling, so it's like... It, Correct. It's it's true. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, a little column A, a little column B. I'm gonna uh, have to spend eight points in a second. I'm looking forward to it to explode. No, ah, well. to I fucking points. literally said eight. <laughs> you have to spend nine <laughs> points to beat it. Oh, fuck you. You know what I meant. I, I, do you want to spend tokens on this or no? You don't have to. No, I'm not spending tokens. You can fucking die. <laughs> 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 this isn't even a matter of life I or know, death. It's I just know. like, all right, cool. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> so long, Ipmon. It was fun while it lasted. I'm making hot dogs. So one few times you roll grit. You had to do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, uh, Ipmon, as yep. you are enjoying your hot dogs and the currently playing in the background Shrek 2, Wizardmon comes up to you to show off the myriad tricks that they are pulling from an attempted memory at Magimon. And sure enough, they're actually quite good. They're quite enamoring to be like, oh, look at look at this neat stuff they're doing. Like, how'd you do that? Without even like casting a magic. Go go on and describe what you were gonna do. Uh <laughs> Wizard Mon uh does the whole finger trick, like I I discovered something that could potentially make me more flashy than Duskmon. Behold this new ability that I have to separate my joints from each other. Behold. I can do this, but on a much larger scale, separating my fingers from my hand. Casting spells from farther away now. Like, he's like, setting up in combat, but also like, behold how flashy this is. What the? That? How does that even work? You're like some kind of witch! You're like some kind of witch, man! Wizard, man, please. <laughs> Okay, sure, yeah. 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 Go on, keep keep ripping your fingers off. It's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but did you know with a special ring, Gary, might I have that ring, please? Oh yeah, sure. Here's the here's the ring, yep. Thank you. He like Mage hands it over, I guess. <laughs> like behold this uh I can move this ring from hand to to finger to finger without any difficulty. Behold. <laughs> How good are you at the trick? <laughs> it, I mean, <laughs> it's distracting enough at this point. I like uh, to think that it's clumsy compared to Gary, but it still gets the job 
done. No, no, come it's on, a, come on, dude, come on. You gotta, you got. Uh, Imon gets like really close. It gets his face okay. really close to Wizard Mon's hands. It's like now you gotta rip <laughs> your fingers off. You were doing it earlier. The yeah, ring's yeah. gotta go under your fingers. You were ripping off. Just rip it off and then put it back on like you were yeah. doing earlier. <laughs> Wizard Mon's like, get, get now, Terry Imon. These gloves are getting in the way, honestly. Your fingers come off, but the, the gloves yeah. are getting in the way, I think. Well, as, uh, as this is happening, Taewon's going to sneak in and just undo the iPad. Like, it, do we think that there's like a string at the back? Or does yeah, it just like... It's tied around in an X-shaped elastic cord, so it's got to meet in the back somehow. Yep. So sure enough, there's a knot back there that's kind of holding it in place. So if you untie it, I can just catch it and run. All right, just... And ties. Teleport <laughs> away, my dude. Yeah, which one grabs and just floats up. <laughs> what the? Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Nobody look! Nobody look at my cursed demon eye! If you look at my cursed demon eye, then you... If you look at my cursed demon eye, then you suffer immediate death! It's part of my lore that everybody knows! <laughs> He's like covering his eye with both of his hands. <laughs> It must over here with the showering gun. Right, uh, right, uh, did you evolve me quick? Did you evolve me quick? I'm in danger of them seeing the eye, the We're evil eye that you know about. Dogs. We're just humming Cookie More Hot Dogs. They can't hear them. Stop <laughs> humming the Cookie More Hot Dogs! <laughs> stop humming the Cookie More Hot Dogs! Did you humming? You shut up! You don't tell them to stop. <laughs> I'm gonna eat seven at once. You're not gonna stop me. No. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sweating! Wizardmon <laughs> floats down the table and like, You're right, this was funny. And Mon, like, you runs see. over to Monotramon. Please, buddy! Please, you gotta let him! You gotta Get let him! Get a hold of him. yourself! Get a hold of him! He's gotta make these hot dogs! <laughs> oh when god. do we give the it back? The fate of the world depends on these hot dogs being made! We oh give them back when it stops being funny! I my totally real cursed demon eye. So five hours later. <laughs> <laughs> because this bit will not stop being funny. Okay, okay. My... As the evening winds down and <laughs> apologies are said, and items are returned. You're just lucky you returned it so quickly or else the cursed demon eye would have activated. <laughs> so cool. It's like five you, hours. You so, seven hot so... dogs and save the world. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, you're so lucky that we were watching Shrek on repeat. No one looked over to accidentally see your cursed evil demon eye. Yeah. yeah Salomon's exactly. going to whisper over to Sammy. I saw it, but I don't think it's really worth the effort. <laughs> could we, <laughs> could we go like? back a couple minutes? Because I think I missed some stuff in Shrek too. Yeah, we It's like a different it. color. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's cool. Oh, yes. I think we uh, missed the part with Puss and Boots. He's really cool because he's like a yeah. cat, but he's also a sword guy, and I got a thing for sword guys. Because, like, I'm kind of a sword guy if you think about it. And Wizard Money has a cool hat. Yes, I do. No, the, oh, the, the, the character. Oh, and, oh, in regards to. Ah, yes, I see what you mean now. I thought you were just making an observation on my fashion. Didn't know you were just admiring the silly cats. I like the way how he goes, I am Puss in Boots. It's really cool. <laughs> how do you do that with your voice? I do what with my voice? Yeah, you sound like an actual threat. <laughs> <laughs> like someone of... Tell your mom, was that rude again? I was about to give you a point! <laughs> Sorry I that like I pointed that. out that you're, fe that you're feeble. And there we are. <laughs> it must that entire heist net zero. <laughs> it must it's just, it's just, just on, just open, staring in disbelief at Wizard Mom. <laughs> Terry <laughs> Mom li literally just finished putting like him one level up to closer to Fun Lad, puts it right back down. Ah, you're gonna be a project, aren't you? I want to see more Blizzard boots. <laughs> so, the evening winds down. Everyone has a very full <laughs> belly of, uh, of hot dogs. I'm pretty sure you went through the whole package after afterwards, Reiner. A there's a lot of wieners. There's a lot of. Howard this day. 
A lot of dogs. And just go on. Seven <laughs> hot dogs at once and saved the world. How many? <laughs> Gratitude. How many hot dogs do we have left? Zero. <laughs> I think Malajamon had 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I had like two. More than Malajumon... what my, my talons can count. <laughs> I, I had one, and I think Malajamon took my seconds and my thirds. <laughs> I was just glad to be slipped one every now and again. Magimon had half of one. Speaking but that us. said, yeah, the, the hot dogs are gone. <laughs> yeah, they, they are no longer exist. Do I have to make more food? Don't Probably worry, tomorrow. When we get, when we get to okay. the top of the mountain, we'll, we'll shop for more food. Yeah, we're running low on supplies. Do you think there's a grocery store at the peak of a mountain? Oh, do you they... think you can maybe go up there and buy more hot dogs or friends who would respect their friends? <laughs> <laughs> I do respect uh, I don't know what you're saying. I do respect you. Are you trying to insult the heroes was... of the world? I respect <laughs> Dustmon a little bit more because he's more capable. So yeah, as I was saying, you think they got friends? Who, like, you are now you below the charts. I don't know what you're saying. Is <laughs> <laughs> it, it, not good to be honest with people? Is, am I misunderstanding something, Terry? Uh, <laughs> can we get Maggie my back, please? We can work on this later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, here. G give me, give me. You know what? Let me have the honors, please, please, Gary. Let me have the honors on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's like, okay, you push this, uh huh, and then you then you push this, uh huh, and then you push this, uh huh. Why is there so many buttons? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I didn't make this. And I'm back. Hi guys. It's oh, so I... weird because why only needs one button? Why is it, why is it? Man, look angry. Why is he glaring at me? Why look is he who's the... in punching size. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look at you walking all up to me. Ah! <laughs> Take my eyebrows! Tayoan steps into the shadows. <laughs> Fear me <laughs> if you dare! Tayoan's just like, this is no longer my problem. <laughs> Excellent. May have started this, but I will not be finishing it. Tayoan's just looking for the shadows, just like, Excellent. I got to witness a hilarious thing, and I suffer no consequences. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> what a per what a perfect day! <laughs> I love being me. <laughs> what a win for Terrier Mon. <laughs> I love how I'm absolutely never going to see any comeuppance from this. As so, our as our day winds down, do you think this is a good spot for a first break? This is exactly a good spot for our first break. So if we'd Wahoo. like to go ahead and transition over, so that way everybody can get a quick bio break in, and uh, we can also go over a few other things. Then yeah. Like, and go ahead and I'll switch the music back over. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta go pet my dog's tummy. Do, do, do that thing. That is very a worthwhile important. use of very break. Important. Very, very important. Little tail. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so good. Little, little tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this energy. What? We could hear you the entire time. Oh, whoops. What was he saying? <laughs> he was talking to Bailey and being like, look at your little tail. Like, <laughs> she's yes. in the hall. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. She knows what she did. It's true. It's true. She gave me attitude at the very start of the game, and I had to run out to let her use the bathroom. And all she did was roll in the grass. Dude, she oh didn't God. need to use the bathroom at all. Fucking Spencer has accidentally trained his his dog, Barry, to understand when the stream is ending by the tone and cadence that his voice gets into as he's saying goodbye to the stream. So he always goes like, goodbye, everybody. And then you just like, oh, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. She, That's the she, knows, saying goodbye. she knows it's time time for attention and to get walks and go outside and do stuff and, get, get and now she's on my bed mm -hmm. give me the eyes <laughs> oh it's so good that is so cute All right. my main notes from last session was more dick energy so I made <laughs> Wizardmon more of an ass you sure did I, it was so funny because I, I was about to be like, wow, I guess Storm's just like letting Wizardman have this. Oh, nope, there he goes. 
Thank I was you. literally about to say, good job, Wizardmon. You get you level up to one fun lad. <laughs> and then you did that, it's like you are now below the charts. <laughs> <laughs> you get that. I have You'll returned. Oh uh, <coughs> do be like that. Okay. Well while we have Nick who can keep track of uh of Vanmon tokens. Uh, I'll I'll read off some of the donations we got, and then I'll also do a bio break real quick. Good, yes. Uh, so last we had Setzer, who again donated three hundred sixty dollars. Good God, uh, oh. we barely we barely did anything. Are <laughs> we really? Good? Yeah, we showed up. We're just like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean Gary did plenty. That sounds like, that sounds like that sounds like a small issue. <laughs> Anyway. I mean, he would have done something if you let him uh, let the two of us out to what? you know beat the shit out of those boulders. No, to spend nine, no. I guess. Like, oh, I also, uh, oh. Chase, remember to return your tokens back for DJ evolving. Yes, I will do that. Uh, boop, bop, beep, boop, got him back. Uh, so, uh, first up, we got Christopher Ramos who donated one dollar for Ooh. the pepper, saying, "You guys are monsters." I got my narrator mon sings the Christmas hits, and it's just Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. She's haunting me. I can't stop her. She wants my chromosomes. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not your chromosomes. Your genetic code? Oh, God. <laughs> Who called Cohen an arsenal? Oh, from there. Oh, of carries. <laughs> from there, we have uh, Anime Dude donated $5. Ooh. Saying, hey guys, hope things are going well. Did you see the new Terrier Mon, Lotmon, and Rapidmon X cards have been added to the TCG? They look really cool. Point to whoever. Yes, can. I have! <laughs> I have seen them, and I know them, and they will be in my deck one day. No, amendment, I will build a new deck just for that. That's true. Excellent. Fair. Understand. I've been wanting X Rapidmon for months. It's fair. I get it. I'm uh, so happy with the design and the order. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, uh, the $5, I guess, is going to go to Gary, since I don't think anybody spent any other tokens. Did anyone spend nah. tokens? No, uh, no, but I'm still missing two. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> uh, you know what? You can have that one. Gary took a lot earlier. Okay. Have that one. Uh, from there, we got Setzer again. Howdy, Setzer. Uh, a much more modest amount this time. Instead of 360, but... they only donated 300. Dear <clears throat> God, what is wrong with you? Um... Why are you this way? Thank you so much. That's uh, pretty normal. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, this, is, this seems like a reasonable amount. Dear God. They you guys say... are the reason I can't explain this to my parents. <laughs> I, I legitimately, when I was looking for a car, I like showed my mom like a 1994 Chevy G20, and I'm like, there's like... Could I like maybe get this? And she's like, "Why would you want like a 20, 30 year old car? Like, why would you want this?" And I'm like, "You're right." For, for for a bit, and I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a fun game where I roll dice with my friends, and my make believe character has a make believe one of these. So I should totally spend my money on that, right? Please, <laughs> please don't judge me if I do this. I feel like I'm gonna get judged if I do this. <laughs> You also get going to get judged by us if you don't do this. So really, you're trapped. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. Rock in a hard place. Uh, it flies my name out of the will. <laughs> Setzer says, greetings, Digidestined and Digital Master. I heard that this is the last Digidestiny for the year. So since uh, since it is the last time, since it is time of gift giving, here is more adversity tokens for the van. Love the vandals. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so $300 to the van. The van. <laughs> It do be like that. <laughs> From there, uh, I'll read the next three, and I think we're up to date. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, uh -huh. after the next three, we're up to date. Uh, next up, we have Bad Sage Advice, who donated $1, saying, I need my money, but I need you guys to know how much we love y'all. Uh, but everyone needs money, if you think about it. JK, I'm in a safe place, but we still love y'all. Watching this has brought, uh, has brought high highs and very beautiful tears. Aww. Thank, you. Aww. Thank you for the one. <laughs> My Kokoro go like doki doki. Glad you like what we've been doing. Glad we've been, glad My Kokoro done broke a row. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
from there, uh, Bad Sage Advice also donates uh, donated three dollars, saying, "Don't hide from my two five dollar donos from a week or two ago, Chase. Appreciate my appreciation slash joking." Uh, did I miss those? How uh, long ago did you donate that? Oh yeah, you did my, donate that boy. like forever ago. I did what the, forget what? those because they were so far <clears throat> back that we had another stream that we got donations for, and I oh, thought no. surely there weren't donations this far back. But you sure lie. enough. Sure enough, they did donate on November 25th. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, Great. They they donated two $5 donations uh, saying, Gary, please say, beware the newt's very obvious bulge in a crossover event that no one asked for. Token goes to Izzy. Wait, I mean Coffin Jockey. Uh, this is a reference to the Swee and D heist game where I played the newt who looked oh. like a ridiculously jacked version of Pops from regular show. <laughs> um, but only from the waist up and from the waist down, he still had tiny flabby noodle legs um, <laughs> and oh uh, was the muscle of the group and mostly was known as one of the world's most prolific serial killers who uh, killed people by ripping their faces off with his bare hands. Uh, his, gloves were, awesome. his gloves were haunted by the faceless ghosts of the people he's killed. <laughs> That was a wild sentence you just said just now. It sure we was. Have gone on a that roller coaster. A it really was. <laughs> it really super was. Uh, I I did make that guy. I don't know why I did, but I did. Uh, and uh, to quote the thing, beware the newt's very obvious bulge. <laughs> That's for you. Uh, from That's there, a token for Gary. Uh, yeah, I'll take the take, take the Gary token. How about? And then uh, from there, we also got the other $5 donation from Bad Sage Advice, say, which was also $5, saying, Muscle Pops, also a heist boy, feels like a good map onto Terrier Mon. So please spread the news of the newt. Token goes to Storm. Also uh, to help with Terrier Mon's legal fees, which I'm sure he has further accrued. <laughs> I don't know what you're hey, talking about. He got away scot free. <laughs> Yano, I'm just a good boy. I'm just a small I'm just boy. A, I'm just a little guy. Yeah, that that's the meme. Yano, I'm just a little guy. Yano, shut the fuck up. You wasn't even there. <laughs> oh, and uh, Noir says the Newt voice was so good. The Newt voice was literally just pops from regular show, except saying horrible things. <laughs> Can yep. we get an example? Here I go, ripping your face off. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, good show! Oh, it's uncanny. I have seen the art of that character. That's what you did. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, he's horrible. He's a yep. horrible, horrible man. He's a horrible man, and I'm scared of him. Uh, <laughs> last donation that we got. Uh, last most recent one. Uh, I think we actually got one more while I was reading these, and then we'll jump back in after super quick bio break. Um, we have uh, Jeff Thomas, who donated ten dollars, saying, "Merry Christmas, Vandom. I hope all are well. Two tokens to strike Dramon for his growth and development. Also, I miss Aldamon. Is Riot coming back? Please tell me there's a redemption. Uh, no comment. No spoilers. We'll see. That's we're not going to talk about plans for the future, uh, with with things, on that kind of thing. We'll yeah. We we'll just experience the stream as it goes. And we'll, yes. We'll see how things unfold." Uh, but Besides, still. if I told you guys my plans for everything, then the story wouldn't matter. Yeah, we'll, we'll enjoy seeing things unfold as they unfold. Hey, Nick, what's up with, with the mountain? With that story? Oh, it's a mountain. Just... Oh, okay. oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> we got there. Uh, two points to Strectrum on, which would be to ER. Hey, I'm full now. Woo! And then uh, last... Uh, last donation was Cole McCarthy, who donated $10, saying, Happy assorted end of year festival to y'all. Here's two for Van Mon. There we go. Thank you so much, everybody. You're all crazy. We love you. Uh, and with that, I will be right back. Y'all entertain stream for a hot second, and I shall return. Oh, I don't, I don't think we can manage that, but we'll give it a shot. I believe in you nonetheless. Okay. Yeah, hi stream. How's it been? It's I feel like if I feel like we haven't had a nice little sit down and chat for the most part on things. Uh, it's it's been a while. I hope you've all been well. Uh, again, we apologize for the uh, <laughs> the busyness of all of us. But to be fair, end of the year festivities tend to do that to everyone, and it was the reason why we were uh, you know unable to do things and get the stream started last year. That which was the plan. 
start last year yeah. during the holidays. Yeah. Like a fool we were. Like a fool we were. Imagine the holidays being busy. Yeah, it couldn't be me. Couldn't possibly be anything you could have predicted. But that said, uh, going into the new year, in theory, at least according to my calculations on things, we should be back on our regularly scheduled uh, two streams a month, or, you know, every other week like we're planning on trying to do. Uh, Hopefully. I, I was provided, uh, or sorry, offered an opportunity for a thing that I will be looking into a little bit more. Oh? Uh, depending on how things go, because if it if it does what I want it to do, which is mainly, you know, pay the bills properly, uh, then there's a potential that I might never work a weekend again. Really? Uh, the, the the, again, that is a potentiality. I have to make sure that it actually, you know, it is within my current revenue stream slash uh, it pays more than I currently make. So what you're saying is games every weekend. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, chats. <laughs> no. I don't want to put that on you. We, the we reason have why games we have with friends, we can't do that every every week. I mean, we can't do it every week if only because one, I don't know everybody else's schedule, but for two, uh, much like how Red requires uh, some modicum of sleep in order to edit, in theory, don't I require some modicum of sleep in order to be able to continue writing more shit for Digi Destiny. So Nick, don't do don't, that to me. Nick, don't lie to them. I don't sleep. <laughs> I've said, I've made this a public statement several times. I sleep for the both of us, like, in Formal Alchemist Brotherhood. Fair. Yeah. And I suppose, you know, uh, and I suppose I guess I'll, uh, return these sleep darts that I bought for no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the chat's yelling me to sleep. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're not Everyone. my dad. Everyone, I've been this man's roommate since the womb. You can't stop him. <laughs> he was your womb mate. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god, they were womb mates. <laughs> <laughs> From the womb to the tomb. Thank you, Pretty. Yes. Red needs to be stay awake for the games. That's right. And then I stay awake after the streams to download this the VOD so I can edit the shorts. Yeah, that's how it goes, clearly. And then when he's done editing the shorts, it's usually time for game again. Yeah. Hey. Or he edits more Digimon Abridge, and then I'll he... have you know that all the shorts are uploaded for up to this session, which means we're good until March. Great. <laughs> Isn't that so great, guys? We've got content coming out all the way through March. Red, I will you say. Have, you th finally that... have free time to play Baldur's Gates. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so nice. Uh, I, but the only reason it's not a little bit later is because I made sure that all the shorts for the worst Sammy one shots, you guys aren't waiting every other day for those. That's going to be a full week event. Yep. I was I like, just know it's going to go. Yeah, I, was, I, I figured I'd release uh, uh, the shorts for this worst Sammy one shot every day when they when, when we catch up to that. It's like, you know what? Let's let's make this an event. Nice. May as well. Right. The one, the one you showed us in the group chat. Oh, I, I literally was like I, watching it before stream. <laughs> I forgot Over. about that. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, God, it's me. it's so it's so good. It's <laughs> whenever it posts, whenever we finally get to it, I am gonna be like the happiest man, like ever, because it's. <laughs> I would I, not I be watch... surprised if that's gonna be like the short that explodes the most. Because it's uh, so good. Because the chat made that one particularly fun. Oh, yeah. No, chat, you guys helped out a heck of a lot with that short. And you'll learn why. Uh, oh, good I lord. I gotta double check something. But, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll be looking into this, this work thing. I need to actually see how well it goes. Because, technically speaking, I would be working more days during the week. I would just not ever work a weekend. <laughs> Right. Uh, also, guys, uh, keep an eye out for January 17th. <laughs> <laughs> did you just look ahead in, like, the... Just I checked did. the schedule. I <laughs> just said, the yep, schedule. there it is. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Uh, God damn. <laughs> I'm but just no, going I'm... for a bio break. Yeah, fair. 
Take care of yourself, Red. But yeah. Before this, before the game, Red came up to me with like a list of things Teamon might do. I was like, yes, we'll steal the eye patch. Also, sorry if my audio interface sounds a little wonky right now. Uh, I was supposed to get a new audio interface before the game today, and uh, the but they cello... fucked me. Thank you, Red. <laughs> The cello didn't notify Red and me that uh, they the only one they had left in stock was broken, so they decided to wait until they got a new one. Red just was just like, "No, nah, that's the that's fucking shady. Cancel order, refund, please." Yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah, because right now I'm just on a, I'm on a blue Yeti right now. Oh no. <laughs> I will get it. I have something coming in next week. New year, new audio interface. I got a whole new setup on my desk. Two dual monitors. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Chase, I don't You're know if uh, you heard, right but uh, that audio interface that you will link to enemy was supposed to arrive before this game, but uh, they kind of fucked us. Love it. Yeah, they. I heard that they only had one left in stock and it was broken, so they're just like, all right, I'll wait. Yeah. Love it. I'm back. What I miss? Uh, just recounting the tale of the bullshits. Oh, yeah. Did Chase hear? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, two weeks, they was like, it's not shipping. It was like, hey, guys, where is it? <sighs> oh, uh, it's broken. Cool. And you didn't give me my money back? I'm sure I'll just get one someday. Uh, a blue Yeti is a type of microphone that is okay, but not great for what we are trying to it, do it's one of the higher end usb microphones but a lot of us are voice actors yeah. so we use xlr microphones which are higher quality blue yetis and... do certain jobs very well they yeah. don't do the job that we do very well so i'm <laughs> really half-assing it here yep <laughs> so that's, that's why my at. audio quality sounds so no bad stage advice snowballs are not good <laughs> So, the Bruce Snowball is not a good microphone. I will die on this hill. Okay, so there's there's two things that the Snowball... So the Snowball does this, and the Yeti does this very, very briefly. Uh, they capture everything. Like, everything that's going on. They capture everything in the room, everything that's going on. They capture all of it. And the thing a microphone is supposed to do is capture your voice. And it captures everything, which is not what it's supposed to do. Uh, the more stuff there is, the more people will hear. Like your air conditioner, and people watching TV in the other room, and a car going down the street, and your neighbor's dog barking, and a lot of other stuff. They'll capture all of it. Uh, they'll, you'll hear all of it. And, uh, we like to have isolated audio that sounds good for just our voices, so it captures just what we want it to capture. Uh, so that's, <laughs> that's what that's for. Hell, you, you guys could like be, be down the hall! <laughs> Yep. Still yep. petting my dog. Yep. Yes. <laughs> this is yeah. true. I remember when we... we Calling her a damn criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we recorded back in my, at my parents' house, uh, we had to be very selective with the times we would record because I lived like... Like, I want to say eight to ten blocks away from the, the train. train station. Yeah, from the train station. And that fucker would pick it up when they would drive by. So it'd be like, I'm in the middle of a take, like, okay, I'm, uh, you and I are going to fight uh, uh, after train. this train passes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we, we love the little Christmas jingle. It's so good. Who could it, be? it was me. <laughs> I, I, was, I was about to say, Red, would you mind seeing that? As <laughs> <on?"> <laughs> right before we get in the show. Yep. Oh, let me read this ahead of time so I don't fuck this up. Like math. <laughs> or you can read it in the chat, or sorry, in the in the the it's Discord thing. Chat. Yeah, okay. it's there too. That way, chat oh. doesn't completely make it disappear. And it's like separated by like lines. So oh, excellent! Read. Thank you, for the love of God. Why is this so muted for me? Okay, I do want a lot for Christmas. There are many things I need. Empty out all of your pockets. Heisty boys filled with greed. <laughs> give me all of your... <laughs> give me all your bits and phones. Be glad I don't steal your bones. Make me... Make my wish come true. All I want for Heistmist 
is your stuff. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah. How did I'm this happen? Chase. Incredible. Incredible. Chase is just a mad lad. Chase, did you write this when and where? I wrote that in the bathroom and we're back to game. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I can't sing. You threw me on the spot again. It's very, very Sorry. Good. That was my fault. Sorry, man. No, it was funny. I don't mind. <laughs> so. Oh, I love you guys. You awaken the morning of your stay in the ravine. And the first thing that you notice uh, after waking up aside from Reiner's whistle for morning training. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm... The shot. <laughs> is during the middle of training, you guys would notice uh, towards the end of the ravine that would lead uh, out of where you're kind of staying and back towards the, uh, the trek up the mountain. There is a very large boulder that is there, which was not there before. <laughs> Clever girl. You're really gonna make us train on Zubagermon Day? <laughs> <laughs> it's the twentieth day. <laughs> the what? Twentieth day. Yeah, it's the yeah, day twenty. Day 20, 20 days of being 20th. in the digital world as of today now. We did it, guys. Oh. We made it twenty days in the digital world. We did it. Good teamwork, oh, everyone. Day. Only that's someone, what to do. Someone update the sign that reads X amount of days since accidents. <laughs> uh, which is currently, what, two, three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yes, you see that there is a a large boulder that is currently blocking the exit to the ravine. Hey, oh. Rhino? Yeah? You didn't put that there, did you? I don't think I could put a boulder that big right there, bud. Mm. I just want to make just sure that it. this wasn't some kind of, like, training thing like Master Roshi and Dragon Ball. Nah, man, I'm his fake. I, I, I know. I'm... Mm. Good job being minus, modest, Rainer. He'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I well, really didn't put that there. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't. Uh huh. He really didn't. Uh huh. Wink. I'm winking because you can only see the one eye. Wink. <laughs> Gary, I'm skeptical. I think Rhino may have actually put that there. <laughs> I don't think he did. But you know what? I, you know, let's just believe in him. Let's let's, yeah, let's maybe, believe in maybe him. Maybe I put it there. I was oh, like sleep. You know, sleep, sleep, moot walking and stuff. And I just sleep like, training. Up the yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what color is the boulder? Uh, it just matches the the surrounding stone. But it definitely Great. looks like carved out. It's carved. Mm. Grayson wants to put on his goggles and see if it has stats. <laughs> this is the DM with a pulse. Was like, no. Are you? So you're? So are you spending the adversity token for? Uh... Analyze. Yes. I want to see if it's actually a Digimon that looks like a boulder. Very well. You put on your goggles. You activate the analyzer scan. And what you see before you is a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Christ! This Digimon's good. It's able to even fold the goggles. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm playing a small kid who's also a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you have smart. You don't have wisdom. There's a difference. Yeah. Uh, uh, can guys, we up? Yep. Guys, it's not a Digimon. We're safe. Eos gonna just look up the ravines, like the like where someone could have like thrown this from. Uh, sure enough, I mean you can see the top end of the ravine, and it's like a sh it's a sheer face on both sides, but from the top end, before it starts like disappearing into the clouds, there might be an area where someone could overlook the area and possibly throw a boulder down. But that said, nobody woke up in the evening. Uh, to like the shaking of a boulder falling into place. So, yeah, how clearly this thing is placed head? here. It was gingerly placed as a way to either uh, divert you from the current path, or at least to to tell you to go back. Something you're not too terribly sure. 
Oh, yeah, is it blocking a path? It is currently blocking your exit, yes. <laughs> like, the only way that you could take out now is the, is the uh, way you came into this ravine, which would make you go back down the mountain. Well, so it's blocking your way further up. <laughs> okay. And how big is this thing? Uh, I'd say it's about maybe 20 feet tall. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a large wow. boulder. <laughs> it's a big boulder. Well, I I'm guess thinking we get, get the cannon out of the van. Either that or we get strike them on to headbutt the fuck out of it. I'm good with either. Wait, so what's your plan, guys? You want to devolve and you want to smash it? I'm going to smash. Hell yeah. All right. I'm ready. All right, here we go. I'll spend the four tokens. Very well. We'll go ahead and slide that over. And. Yeah. Come on, it's now here. Yeah. I'm so glad we don't fear you anymore. <clears throat> you can. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, God. It wants you. <laughs> This guy's pretty cool. Look at this cool guy with the fire. Fire boys. Blue fire guys. Look at us. Look at us. You and me. Blue fire guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Maggie. No. We've been fearing this for 20 episodes. It, it, it took us this long for them to finally meet. I'm going to did you all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're, gonna, gonna, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna digivolve Impmon because you don't even want to conceive yeah, before of the consequences. Before Striker, Striker turns his head because you can, you can just smell virus types. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, very like, well, you can go ahead and spend your tokens and... Uh... I like the idea that Striker just kind of like whip, like whips his head just like... Whoosh, sees Impmon and Impmon immediately just starts glowing. <laughs> it's like... Whoosh, it just... Boop! It might need your too. <laughs> nice save, saving me from that Striker Dramon guy. The only guy I know that would have been a threat is that Strike Dramon guy. <laughs> two totally different guys, those two guys. And now we have Duskmon as well. Yeah, two blue fire boys. Two blue fire guys. Two blue. I'm tall now. <laughs> Something <laughs> happened. Reiner <laughs> saved your life, is what happened. What do you mean? He means the the scary dinosaur would have made you mulch. The virus buster was back. So he would just go after me then. We don't know. He's done that in the past with the Numamon. Also, Renner, remember it's uh it's six tokens to spend for a digital. Oh six? Okay. Yeah, because you don't have the, the feature. So, oh, yeah. yeah. For, for Yor has the feature that reduces the cost. Yep. Oh, okay. So in your okay. case, yeah. For everyone else, it's normally six. For the those who have that uh, special tamer power, it is four. I got to say, I thought it was really funny that the one... I, I don't know if anyone else took that power, but I thought it was really funny that I took it, and I didn't get the Digivolve for so long because you of know, the story. You know who <laughs> it else was took really it? funny. Gary yeah. also took it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And he also is on great terms with his champion level, did you? Oh no! <laughs> so you know well, things are things are going great. I don't know right what we guys talked about. Gogomon's great. Yeah. <laughs> so, Strikermon and now Duskmon, there is the large imposing boulder blocking your path. It's mine. Mon, I have it. It's all mine. <laughs> okay. All right, very well. Uh, come on, go it. ahead and give me a fight check. I'm going to set the DC to, let's say, like, yeah, let's say 13. Oh, let me get uh, <laughs> the right one up. Just let the roll for freaking, uh, for mono. Oh, let me get it. <clears throat> there you are. All these protocols as of Striker Jermon. There we go. Yes. Strike Jermon. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, man. Strike Grim is on strike from saying Strike Jermon. <laughs> <laughs> Until they change the name in the TCG, I will continue to say it as such. <laughs> Wait, is that how it's said in the TCG? No, not at all. I'm no. making a bit. 
Oh, because I, I was literally reaching for my strike Jamal cards. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Right, imagine what I'm going to need you to do bad. is get a Sharpie and write an ER <laughs> you after your strike. Striker Jamal cards. <laughs> you, you see <laughs> what is, is... everyone. And that is a 13 on the dot. Very well. So you said that uh, you were headbutting this thing? Yep. Very well. With a running start, a slight leap into the air, you bring your skull crashing down into the boulder, and there is a plume of dust and debris that overtakes the area. And as you walk out of the dust cloud and as the wind kind of takes part of it away, you can see that the boulder has not been split down in half, but has been reduced to pebbles. His theme song's playing. It's so fucking cool. Da -na 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 -na. Another one. I bet you I can break seven in a row. <laughs> I bet you can, bud. Yes. I, I, I could have done that, too. <laughs> you just didn't give me a chance to. Yeah, there, yeah, buddy. We believe you could have. Good. Good. Excuse me, I need to check on this uh, book that Wisdom on left me. I gotta get some updates, okay? He's been doing he updates off screen. I <laughs> That's realize. Fair. There's a lot of back and forth between the two of them. <laughs> a lot of stuff I'm catching up with on, on this little guy. Fair. Getting the sparked notes on what's been happening. Yeah. <clears throat> Very well. So with that, the boulder is now crushed and out of the way as you all yeah. begin I've... to pile back into the van and begin your ascent once more. <laughs> I do digivolving. You can if you'd like, otherwise you can stay as you are. Uh, is there room for that. both? That's I a good think question. that he all goes, hell yeah, high five, and he gets like slammed into the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, high five. It's like, We're high five. On it. Immediate cut to the wall of the mountain. ER just, <laughs> <laughs> So if Strikermon's not the digivolving, <laughs> then I guess Duskmon's also not the digivolving. For self-preservation reasons. Uh, I gotta wait till till uh, Strikermon uh, digivolves to do that. So uh... he, did, he said it correctly. Huzzah. There <laughs> we go. You know, Excellent. Give me a shit. Way now, so, uh, so so we are. What's the plan? He always doesn't notice. All right. <laughs> Very well. You got it. <laughs> so, the lot of you pile on into the van. It is a lot more cramped now that we have Strike Dramon and Duskmon sitting in the back. Dude, Grayson. Did you evolving him? This, oh, should I? This must be what Trick feels like in carriages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if we need space, I can de digivolve him, no problem. Now, we should all digivolve. Now, that's, that would be too crowded. You're actually are you sure? Out. Sammy, we don't need to do that. I don't think that there's enough space in here. Yeah, no, I'll not that just... attitude. No, I'll be back. Let's open a window. <laughs> Emphasis on wind in window. <laughs> I mean, I could. I have the magnet boots. I could stand on top of the van. There's like 90 mile per hour winds out there, my guy. That's a good point. Yeah. And flying boulders. <laughs> That's yeah, but I do have my skateboard. <laughs> just hang on to the back favorite. and hope. Yeah, I can Moy McFly this shit. Uh, Eeyore, you told us what happened last time you Moy mcfly some shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. You went through a department store window. Yeah, but we won't find that over here, will we? We will find the one department store on the mountain somehow with your luck. And we can buy hot dogs. Not if you break through the window. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll need Digivolve Strike tomorrow. Very well. So we'll go ahead and we'll boop. You go so ahead genuinely excited back. for the hot dogs for a half second. <laughs> Alrighty, there you are. Oh fucking! I forgot to ask about this. Um, yes. How's 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 uh, contacting Jordy going, Grayson? Oh right. Uh, no, I hard to do without access to a terminal. <laughs> I didn't know if that needed a terminal or not. I, I, I tried sure. back at uh, Mediamon's place. I couldn't get anywhere. Okay. Uh, I think a tunnel might be best. I can try again while we're on the road. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'll, it's not. It's not possible, uh, then, yeah. yeah, I mean, I might as well try to ping it. Let's see if I can get something out. 
Very well. So Monodramon is now back in the van, and I assume <laughs> are we keeping Duskmon or are we because if that's okay, there's enough space now. We've we've proven this from our previous adventures. <laughs> there's enough room ogre here. <laughs> Hey, uh, Rhino, can you did you evolve uh, Dust Mon real fast? Is Strike Dramon? Yeah, it's just Monitor Monitor Dramon's here now. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, yeah, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I am like Puss in Boots, a noble fencer without a sword, though. I, you know. Hold on, Maggie Mon reaches into his uh, hat and pulls out one of those like plastic swords with like the chest plate and the helmet that we all grew up with. Yeah, like, I'm aware. It's like still in its sheath and yeah. Mon reaches over like feverishly like grabs it. It's like <laughs> and unsheaths it, realizes it's plastic, it's like, eh. <laughs> puts it back in, it, hands it's it back. All, the guard is already loose. It's been played with quite a bit. <laughs> this is not a new toy. <laughs> this one was mine. <laughs> I went through several of these as a kid. Eh, it's Very well. Duct, ta duct tape can't fix. Uh, so as you make your ascent further up the mountain, Gary, I need you to make one more flight check as the winds it. are getting heavier up there. It's going to be a 14 for the flight check. Oh, jeez. Right, and go. again, take your plus two for the van bonus. Yep. Here we go. Okay, that's Impmon's driving, uh, but it's fine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it up to 14. Very well. It is getting more difficult to maintain speed going up here. You have to make sure to slow down more than you would like to, to be able to avoid getting blasted by the wind and avoid some of the constant rubble that seems to be coming down. And there comes a point where you actually reach the point of the mountain where the clouds are obscuring the peak. And it's becoming hard to see anything in here. Until you hear, through the blaring winds, a voice call out to all of you. Stop where you are, stranger. You will go no further. Sammy, do you recognize that voice? I do, I think. You do recognize that voice. Yeah. It is uh, hard to see in this obscuring, like, darkness of the clouds, but that is a voice you have heard at least a few times. Grayson gets the cannon. Friend or foe? <laughs> I open the door and just get out. <laughs> it is incredibly windy, and it Sammy! is hard to <laughs> be able to hold your feet out here. But you begin trying to make your way forward. Grappling up. <laughs> oh, I I just gotta say the the fact that somebody jumped out of a car and someone else yelled Sammy just took me back to like the deepest depths of supernatural. I had, to, like, I had to like recover. It it, it, oh, it got no. to me. I was affected. Oh, that took me on a trip I was not ready for. I just got hit for psychic damage. Fair. Continue. What am I supposed to say? Like, oh yeah, Sammy, good luck. No, it makes sense. <laughs> no, you did nothing wrong. <laughs> so, Sammy, you rush forward through the blaring winds until you hear the voice again call out. You will only get one warning. Stop, are you? Now wait just a moment. I knew it was you. And... Gary, as you pull the van a little bit forward, you see, you all see, standing directly in the center of the road, what appears to be a scarecrow. What the hell? Yeah! This and you see the happens. bird perched up on its arm, uh, cawing and making noises over towards Sammy. It's been quite some time, little girl. How have you been? Oh, well, we'll get to that eventually. What's going on with this weather? Oh, right. I suppose we should probably make our way inside. Uh, follow me, and I'll get you through safely. Can we take the van? Certainly. Is that 
Is that what that's called? As far as I know, yeah. Very well. Bring your van. And we shall follow. Uh, I'm gonna wave, like, oh, like wave over the van and be like, we're good! <laughs> okay. So, Sammy, you hop back into the van and you all follow this scarecrow-like Digimon through the dark fog of storm clouds surrounding you until eventually the winds stop. And in their absence, you see there is a small clearing of rubble, rock, and various twigs and branches. And you also see small little homes that have been established up here, which, Sammy, you did not see before the last time you were here, because they were not here the last time. And Noemon will go ahead and turn around towards the lot of you. I'm sorry that things were a bit off-putting for the lot of you, but security had to increase given recent changes. Is there something going on? I suppose what isn't going on. Young Miss, you're aware of the changes, aren't you? I mean, the crazy weather and, like, those boulders flying from the sky? Like, what changed? Ah, those are the security measures provided by the master of the area, who I now directly serve under. Phoenixmon is doing all of this? Indeed. They have to have some way to protect the young ones. Those that yeah. cannot defend themselves from the monsters. Monsters now. Hi, uh... We are friends of Sammy's. We're the uh, Digi Destined. Hmm. I see. A pleasure to make all of your acquaintance. I am no Amon. I suppose if you have urgent matters for climbing the mountain there, must be a reason you're here. Yeah, we were here to get the terminal back online. I see. I suppose you'll want to talk to Phoenix Mon then. At which yeah. point, Noemon is going to go ahead and it'll like peck at the scarecrow, which will go ahead and pull the bow out from its back, uh, from behind its back, and it will shoot an arrow that has a red tassel on the back end high up into the sky, making an arch before it lands back down. The storm clouds that surround the area begin to change from that dark black to a lighter gray and then eventually to a puffy white as a sort of calm begins to descend the mountaintop. And eventually you hear the beating of wings as a very large entity flies down from above the mountain range. It's Storm Dramon. <laughs> it's gotta be. I think you're right, buddy. It's gotta be. I bet a hundred hot dogs. <laughs> Lord Phoenixmon, the young miss has returned and has brought friends. <laughs> I'll take those hot dogs if you don't mind, buddy. You want uh, yeah, so many hot dogs. We didn't dogs. ride it on blood. Oh, you're not getting out of this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not getting out of this one. <laughs> I said one hot dog. <laughs> oh, I heard what you said. My ears are fucking one massive. Dot zero, zero, one dollars worth of hot dog. Uh, so, Nick, for those of yeah. us who are familiar with Digimon Canon, is Phoenix Monta scale? Uh, I just have all these tokens kind of like big enough okay. so that way they're seen by stream. This is not too scale. Okay. It's, Phoenix, so Phoenix Mon is, is large. Size. Okay, like, it's, it's pretty damn big. It is overtowering the lot of you. Just want to make sure for Grayson's accurate uh, reaction, Grayson's faints. <laughs> <laughs> Grayson! Terry Mon's <laughs> slapping him with his ears. Wake up! <laughs> that's a big bird. It is. Oh, so big. big. I think that's the biggest dish we've seen. That could that be an point. ultimate. The, the common that big? At which point Phoenix Mon lands with a thud that shakes the dirt around before it'll turn towards the lot of you. And it'll smile softly as it looks over towards Sammy. 
Ah, it is good to see you made it. And have found good company as well, young one. Yeah, I found my brother and other friends. And also, what is going on? Because it was not like this when I was here, like, four days ago. Right. It's maybe longer than that. After you left, things seemed to have ramped up with the number of intruders from the Static Desert. As such, I wanted to make sure that my people were protected. Thus, I had most of them move to the mountaintop, either by voyage themselves or carrying them. I would Bye. not see another incident occur that befell you. Thus, I have been warding them off. So by intruder, you mean the staticky guys? Glitches, I think, is what Mediumon called them. Whatever they are called, we have been referring to them as the monsters. Apt. And I would not see them hurt those in my charge. Fair. Makes sense. Which reminds me, young miss, I have an inquiry for you. Shoot. The champion that guided you down the mountain. Do you know where he is? Oh, Leoman? Um, he just kind of left after we got through the firewall. Um, didn't look like he was going back up the mountain, though. I'm, I'm, I don't know where he went after. Strange. He serves directly under me, and as such, he should have returned upon completion of his work. It is not like him to wander. I hope he's okay. As do I. Now, supposedly you all have business with me. How might I help? We're trying um, to turn on the D-terminal? Yeah. Yeah, we need a terminal turned over. We're looking to turn them all on. At which point <clears throat> you all can see at the far end of this large clearing, sure enough, standing high up into the sky is the D-terminal. That, yeah, that one. At the very tip top of it appears to be a large nest that has been built atop it. Hmm. Oh, just made yourself at home. <laughs> I see. If that is what you wish to do, I shall allow you access. I have simply been keeping guard of it. It is my home, and it is a place of power. Thusly, it should be protected. Yeah, we've uh, already turned on two GG Mon, uh, CEO GG Mons, and. Uh, I see. It would be interesting to reconnect with them again. Have you heard anything from High Angemon? I am unfamiliar with this Digimon. Oh, great. And Don't touch them. Very well. Oh, cool. That was easy. J just like I that? The young miss has proven well enough that they care about those under my charge. As they're gonna, like, kind of nod their head over towards Salomon. I would do well to trust your judgment, as you all are greatly associated with one another. Okay. Thus do I trust your judgment. Um... We'll see what we can do to set up what we need to set up in the terminal. Um, I think that the old admin set up the firewalls before. Um, maybe if we're there, we might be able to set it up so that it doesn't let in the the monsters, but lets in anybody who wants to come in that's not a monster. 
since you guys have such a hostile environment now to try to keep them out? The firewalls were built to create borders amongst the Digimon, those that thrive in certain environs. There are some that are able to do well in multiple, thus they can pass through the firewalls at will. These young ones, however, they are not meant to leave the mountain just yet. If you are able to restore the firewall, perhaps it will shield us further, and I need not create the storms. Yeah, I'd, I'd really prefer that you guys have a normal place to live. It's not storming all the time. The boulders your guys doing? Cause we, we almost got, like, destroyed by those. I must offer apologies, then. I have not seen a creation of that like before, and I assumed it to be an intruder. As it, like, kind of kneels, uh, lifts its head and kind of points over towards the van. <laughs> Ah, yeah, fair. Hey, well, now you do. Take the time that you need and know that you are in a safe place. Don't get a lot of those these days. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, thanks for doing what you, what you did to watch after Sammy while, uh, while she was waiting with you, I guess. If you are as you claim, that you are digidestined, then I suppose helping you all would be to the greatest benefit of my people and the surrounding areas. Oh, nice. It is not hard to think. You'd be surprised when it comes to some people. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we can do with that terminal. And Phoenixmon is going to go ahead and nod, and we'll like kind of gesture with one of their wings over towards the, uh, over towards the terminal. Heck yeah! Head on over. You guys make your way over, and much like the first terminal that you had found back in the digital forest, this one appears kind of like sealed shut, which is reminiscent to the first time you encountered it, Sammy, that it just wouldn't open. However, as you all present your digivices to it, just like the, the entryway time. lights up, and you all are able to make your way inside of the D terminal. Oh my it is oh my dark here. It feels as though this place has not been accessed in a very long time, even longer than the one in the digital forest. A lot of dust is just caked onto everything here. And the lights are flickering. Man, it must have been a while since this piss was on. <sighs> yeah. So... That was a really big Digimon. Like, can you guys get that big, Terumon? I, I don't know. I'm trying I to feel like guys, in I... spirit, I'm bigger. <laughs> spirit and heart. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. think it was overcompensating. <laughs> yeah. Who needs to be no... that big? How are you gonna get in the van and watch Shrek like that, idiot? <laughs> Actually, want to ask you, Digimon, something if you don't mind. Good thing. How do you guys feel about your evolutions? Like, I like my pants. <laughs> they are scary at times. I'm it not is thrilled. a. Go ahead. I'm not thrilled with the uh, attitude on my guy, but uh, it's a work in progress. It is a necessary change in order to bring about safety to the lot of you. A lot of us. I mean, like, you mean the humans, right? The humans, right? Salomon will just continue <laughs> onwards. <laughs> Salomon, the humans. So... Hey. She meant the humans. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I'm pretty sure we already know Imp Man's feelings on his mm -hmm, mm -hmm. alter ego. Yep. I think we should hear him out, though. What do you <laughs> think, Imp Man? I think you're right, and that you should listen to Imp Man all the time. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this. See, if that if that was a short for all of five seconds, just. <laughs> Yes, I think I think we should hear him out. I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> I will absolutely make that a fifteen second short. Like I try yeah. to open myself up and then you do this. <laughs> I give you one opportunity and you've blown it. <laughs> so after wandering through the various corridors, you eventually make your way to the console area and much like the rest of this place, it is dusty as hell. Can I look for a light switch? You certainly can. Uh, I know that, technically speaking, uh, Grayson knows where the light switch is in the form of turning the tower on. That's fair. Eh! I hit button. Power on. Eh. Very, very well. I uh, smack the control console. There is... A button that you press as your Digivice kind of lights up the area and you turn it on. And as the tower begins to boot up, you feel a shaking throughout the entirety of the terminal. It is akin to an earthquake and it lasts for a couple of minutes. As you're wondering, like, what did we do? What went wrong? What's happening? The shaking stops. Good job, team. Did... Is everything working? The terminal is currently on, and you have access to all of the different things. The lights are okay. less flickering and now are kind of burning a little brighter, trying to just erase some of the dust around it. Okay. Uh... Terminal's back online, I guess. Or at least it's how's on. Good. Uh, Good job, team. Anything uh, you guys want me to check out before I try to make contact with Jordy again? Um, one. How hard is it to adjust what a firewall does? Uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, Chase? Uh, how hard is it to adjust what a firewall does? So that we can like get through easier like so that we could just block the glitch the monster things and then like anybody oh. else could just come through yeah oh, what yeah, phoenix mom was saying oh right Duh. i mean you do have a idea like from the black chips that you guys still have of what the purge protocol is so you do still have that but as you're all kind of considering this uh a sort of circular pad at the far end of the room begins to light up and a familiar, friendly face wanders out. Yes. Hey! It is the boy. Grayson runs up and hugs him, picks up that little tyke. It's High Andromon. Ah! <laughs> I am quite surprised that you were able to pick up my frame, given how heavy my chassis is. <gasps> Impressive. Were... I thought you were like... Aluminum can. Oh wow, well, you already have it. Oh, I know help. Oh, I know you help. are allowed to put me down. Uh, you, you can just do that. Yeah. yeah it was the you. adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> it appears you all have been successful in activating the third D terminal. Though I am surprised that you activated one so far from your original destination of Data City. Is there a reason you skipped over the one in the static desert? Yeah. About that, do you was... go on? It, it was being defended by High Andromon. He's the High one Andromon. behind. He's the one behind the glitches, the distortion, the trouble. I see. That is certainly disheartening to hear, to say the least. From my oh, understanding, High Andromon is quite a capable Digimon. Oh, it gets worse. Yeah, he was a little bit too capable. Yeah, and he was, uh, do we know for a fact that he was potentially a, I mean, uh, we, 
we know that one's a hook. We have suspicions, like mm -hmm. strong suspicions. Yeah, I'm just double check with Nick. Do we? Yeah, what's up? Was that was that ever confirmed with us that the suspicion that he may be a, a former partner? Uh, there there was that suspicion that uh that that was the case, and technically speaking, that wasn't directly confirmed. But you guys definitely are all, like all he it's did possible. is he talked about did you destined and how well applicable is did you destined. Yeah, I mean you can. It, it would not be a stretch to make that like jump uh, connection in logic, though. Again, you don't have anything that's like solid confirmation. Okay, I just wanted, the intro. I wasn't meta gaming. Aside the knowledge that there was a Hagumon, but we don't know in character the line that Hagumon typically takes. Completely fair on that end of things. So yeah, just just want to make sure I wasn't meta gaming. No, no, that's completely fair. But yeah, so. But yeah, it's been a. It's been a, a journey. I am curious. Where is the loud one that carries the hammer? High Angemon killed him. Too soon. Ah. Uh, I apologize if I have opened any. You didn't know. It's okay. I see. Flame I suppose is, I do have yeah. other news to assist you all in some manner. Yeah. yeah. First and foremost, your transportation, as it were. It is quite an unwieldy vehicle, and as such is unable to venture into the D-terminal without damage to itself or the terminal. Yeah. As such, it is unable to utilize the warp function the D-terminals have. Okay. I have been working on a project amongst my delvings into the server to provide a bit of assistance in this matter. Okay. You should find it outside after you are done with your immediate perusings here. Okay. That, that said, I did indeed find more files when looking into the the records that we had previously found. If you'd like me to pull those up for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Absolutely. absolutely. Very well. Uh, Datamon's going to go ahead and head over to the console, and they will go ahead and pull up the most recent uh log that they have found which let me go ahead and turn that volume down just a little bit it's a little heavy uh and let me go ahead and get to that newest admin log Spec. Returns to the renewal cycle. I'll need to run a few more tests, but we should finally have a simpler way of removing unwanted data from the server. Which brings me to the next phase. We have a lot of Digimon running around these days. Far more than before the Y2K incident. Some of these programs do the same job that other Digimon were meant to do. Why the server decided to create so many redundant programs, I'll never understand. And while they aren't trash data per se, they aren't particularly necessary either. Too much data makes the server chug, and low system helps no one. Hmm. I think it's time we gave this project a name. Project Title Purge. Red Herring. And I'll go ahead and show that to all of you while nice. you all access to it. Red Herring made the Pudge program. This is the first I'm hearing of this name. Red Herring or Pudge? 
Purge specifically. This red herring is one of the admins we have been reading these logs from. Someone with notes. Who was uh, Red Herring's partner? I don't think that's been confirmed. That was actually confirmed yeah. from oh, Meteor. Oh, it was Hagurumon. It was Hagurumon. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Uh -huh. And Datamon will, at this point, kind of pull up the extra side note. I looked into the timeline of this log, and it appears to be from October of 2019. 2019? From That's... the most recent log that you had, which was the second one, that was January of 2018. This is a little ap This is more than a year later, nearly two years. A year ago for, oh, for us? Well, actually, you guys are in 2022, so... Oh, I thought we were 2020. I could have sworn that we were at the tail end of like the first wave. Oh, yeah, that's right, 2022. Right, yep. gotcha. <laughs> COVID was a weird time. Yep. COVID time was a weird meaning. time. T time doesn't exist, and it's not real. <laughs> time soup. Yep. Uh. Yes, that's what Hi Andromon, or sorry, that's what uh, Datamon. I He's here, get him! <laughs> Uh, was able to pull from the various records of digging. Right. So, how do we feel about the theory that Red Herring's partner may be High Anjuman? It would kind of make sense at this point. Yeah. I mean, it was like a Hagurumon thing, right? Like something with like machine like. So maybe it became that. I mean, it was. Was it, it seems to be a pretty obvious through line that the Andromon at least turned into the high Andromon. So but at the there's... same time, we only got comfort. Hey, Datamon, did Meteor you know said they only became ultimates? Meteor Mon said that everyone only became ultimates. My Andromon's like a mega, right? Hey, Datamon. Yes. You knew the guys before us, right? I was familiar with them, yes. Though there have been gaps in my memory from Awakening, what I have been doing my best to pull the pieces together. Red Herring's partner. Was it Hogurumon? And what that did appears he to be the case. What did he did you evolve into? If my understanding is correct, his champion form seemed to be Gardromon, and his ultimate and the apex of their abilities was an Andromon. There we go. Because Hogumon's the only one that's not with us. I think you're probably with us this time. I see. I just realized you guys are kind of fighting an old friend. Well, it's not like we remember him. And but... let's face it, it's not like he pulled his punches. So I don't think that matters to him much either. I mean... Maybe we can reach out to him? I mean, if if Alderman shows back up again, I don't know if he'd really care. Oh, yeah, Blame Man did you have the Alderman? Just a FYI, Dalaman. I see. And this occurred after. After. Yes. Yeah. I see. I suppose we should do our best in the wake of your friend and wish the best for now Aldemon. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find him again someday. That said, uh, for everyone from the uh, start of the adventure, save Sammy, uh, you all actually notice a further notification on your Digivice. Specifically from that one that was unable to be read properly as it was coming out as, like, broken. Mm. Give me one moment here. Sure thing. And we'll go ahead and save the changes there and we'll show this to you all. 
the message that was previously sent to all of you now fully reads as such. Friends, I require your assistance as soon as you can. Things are not well and I have reason to believe everything we've built is in danger. I'm sending your partners to fetch you. They should be just as strong as when you last met them. We'll need strength in the coming battle if my fears are correct. I can't go into detail, but know that Simon cannot be trusted. He's not himself, and it'll be up to us to pull him back from the edge. Be swift, fellow admins. Signed, Lucia Yi. That was Yeehaw. Yeah. That is now the full message displayed before you all. Oh. Why don't I have my notes up? Who, who's Yeehaw? Uh, that, that that, that's Maggie Mon. That, that's Maggie Mon's yeah. partner. Yeah. yeah. Lucy. Huh. Also, Chase, whenever you have time, feel free to clear out the messages whenever. I was letting people read it if they wanted to read it. Uh, Completely fair. fair. They've been screenshotting <laughs> it and putting in spoilers. I'm sure they have. Good, good. So did you guys all just get a text that I didn't get? Is this like a boys only thing? I don't know. Grayson kneels down so Sammy can read. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you guys need to check it again later, just go into the little handouts tab and it'll be under the Digivice message. Thank you. So, somehow, some way, we were pulled in instead of the admins. And right now, the admins with all of their ultimates should be here to deal with this problem, but something happened and they're not. The system. The system got involved, I think, is... Like, that has to be something, right? Like, we were chosen by the system when Lucia was trying to call her team back. It also said our digital would be as strong as we last met them. I wait, wait, when was this message sent? If you look at the like timestamp of when the date uh, the message was sent, it's from the day you all arrived. In the I mean, world. by that logic, something happened to Lucia. What happened to Lucy? She's okay, right? We'll I mean, I guess Gary's my partner here. now. Gary's my partner now, but she, she was my partner. Like, just she because was I, indeed. Just because I don't remember her, the, she's okay, right? I wish I could provide more information, but sadly, you lot are the only humans that I've had access to talking with. Hey, uh, Grayson, can you bring up those pings again? Yeah, yeah, let me see if I can, uh, Grace is going to try to, uh, science the shit out of the terminal to see if he can get some pings up on the map. Just sure. I know the, when we yeah, first the found... the terminal works the same as all the other ones, so go ahead. Yeah, because when we first found Sammy, we got an additional ping that we don't know who that was. But then, <laughs> storm! <laughs> it's going hard, so... But then we later well, found a, another ping, right? Yeah, yeah. in the so... digital forest, closer to the silver swamp. Yeah, so, so I... currently, looking at, uh, you're able to pull up the old data that you had before, but the pings that you currently had, at least the last time you accessed the things from uh, Meteor Month's terminal, is that there is a ping located out here. Oh, no. And one <laughs> ping also located here. Oh, boy, the two places that don't have uh, terminals. S or solid stable land. So the virus swamps and what was the other one? The big oh, coastline. The big coastline. So those were the two places where pings had occurred in some way. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to assume the van can go aquatic. Probably. And we can use the teleporter to get back to the vaccine, yeah, to the digital forest. Let's cut down on travel time. That's a good idea. 
Uh, let me see if I can reach Jordy here. There's also something else I want to do <coughs> first. No, first things first, I'm going to try to do some stuff with the firewalls like we talked about first. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps I can be of assistance. That would be fantastic, Dadamon. If you can get to work on that while I try to reach Jordy, can we double team that? I believe that we could. Great. So uh, here's like what we have on the purge program, and Nick Grayson does his best to explain what he, he comprehends of it to Dadamon. Uh, at which point, Dadamon is going to go ahead and uh, he at first reaches out with his fingers to grab the the USB from you of like one of the like purge program like uh, augment would... chips before he knows better, having been exposed to it before. And goes over and grabs a pair of tongs from nearby and uses those to pluck that out of your hand. Yeah, sorry. So I got, got really excited though for a second. Sorry. But he's going to get started on re, uh, re-putting up the firewall, implementing this code to see if it will potentially block out anything that has this programming in it now. Okay. Now that he's on that, with that one has like a small room for error, I assume. So I mean, I'm, he, yeah, he knows how to do this. So. Yeah, that, that was Grayson thinking in character. So uh, let's see if I can fuck this up. And it, Grayson's going to try to reach Jordy again. Very well. I would say go ahead and give me a brains check for this. I'm going to set the DC to... I'm going to have to set it high. It's going to be 15. <laughs> the wizard... So, as you begin to access the other side of the terminal while Datamon is working, you're like, come on, give me something, anything. Uh, there is a monitor that lights up. And you see, like, a like generic, uh, like, circle with, like, a triangle underneath, like, a, what would be a, like, generic uh, user profile image. Like, no distinctive, like, properties to it. Uh, but you see, like, a small speaker underneath that, like, shows that it's on. And you hear from the other side. Is anyone there? Hello. Hello. Yeah, your mic's a little choppy. Are you, do you hear me? This is Grayson, Grayson McKnight. Suppose that some of the terminals must be active at this point for it to be able to work. Yes, yes, we have three terminals on. Can you hear me? I can hear you a bit. Things are still coming across a bit too fast. Okay. The dilation okay. is very heavy. Dilation? I... Things should about? stabilize more. With the other terminals. Okay, more terminals need to be activated. Uh, Did he need us to talk slower? High Andromon is a threat. High Andromon. Uh, That's a problem. Yeah. Should we tell him about... Uh, Can you speak up? I can't hear you. Uh, 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 guys. Uh, where is Red Herring? Simon? I've been trying to reach him and Lucy ever since this whole thing started. Neither of them have been answering me. How do you know them? We have logs from the old admins. We are the new Digi-Destined. We, we have Ipmon, Monojamon, Magimon, and Terriamon here. I see. And what about Flamemon and Hagurumon? Are they there? Hagurumon never joined us. Flamemon's partner is dead. Aldemon went off on his own. 
there's going to be a long pause on the other side of the speaker before the voice returns. Interactive. What was that? I'll do what I can to help from here. But I can't do much without the terminals active. Jordy. High Angemon killed Meteormon. How recently was this? In your time? Our time? Just a day? Two days ago? What do you mean, our time? No need to worry. I'll send help when I can. Just focus on getting those terminals active. Okay, but what do you mean by our time? The connection's getting choppy. Damn it. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Just get those. And like that, it disconnects. Time dilation. No way. I'll get it. it. I mean, we 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 have to get more terminals on. It sounds like there's a time difference between this world and our world. That doesn't make sense. I mean, how how does that work? I mean, theoretically, this dimension could be experiencing time at a different rate as our world. I don't. I suppose you felt that from the shaking. The shaking? Yes, the earthquakes from when you activated the terminal. Do the terminals link the time dilation? Normally, our world and your world are not one to one. Do not in sync. Correct. The D terminals, when activated, Help to resync that. Wait, wait. So, how long have we been gone? Our time, our it, our world time. Julie says that I sounded fast, so it sounds like this world moves faster than our world. Yeah, but 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 how much? How how long have we been gone to our families? It's hard to say without the all of the terminals active. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. I mean, you, you guys know my living situation. I just assumed my mom wouldn't notice. Well, we all you can been... do now is try to get all the terminals up then. And then we'll have to deal with it. I guess so. That city, Digital Forest, Silver Peaks. So that's just these stack deserts and vaccine plains. But we got pings in the virus swamp and the big coastline. So I guess we're either making stops everywhere. Could, either one of them could be Lucy or Simon. At and which point, Datamon will click a button and you'll kind of feel a slight change in the air for a moment before it turns towards the lot of you. The firewall has now been reactivated according to the specifications of this thing. It should stop the program from making its way here. Thank you. I suppose I should do the same for the other areas as well. Yeah. I'll yeah. be sure to contact CEO Gigimon about this. Magmon is just going to tug Gary's sleeve. I know we have, like... A deadline, a mission with the, with the terminals. But if we have the chance, I would really like to see if we can investigate the swamps and the coastline. If I need to make sure, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. Um, we'll see what we can do. If we're able to pass through the firewalls freely now, we could head straight to the vaccine planes. Maggie Ma just hugs Gary's leg. 
Thanks, Mike. Boy, Gary will pick him up. Oh, I'm tall now. Here, the way I see it, there's kind of two options. Either we go to the vaccine plains from here, or we could teleport to Death City and go to the virus swamps. <sighs> and once we're in the plains or the swamp, we can go to either from each other. I apologize, but there seems to be something coming in. Oh, no. And looking over at the map that is still projected up onto the screen, that one blip that's over on the bit coastline you see is beginning to blink a bit more. It's not moving, but you can see like more activity coming from that direction. There appears to be a distress signal being sent from that location. Though with the distance, the message is muddled. I'm unable to decipher it. Or... I think we should go. Yeah. Give me just a few more hours to see if I can add our shields. Okay, guys? Sure. I want to see if I can... I need to sure. see if I can take them off of High Angemon's network. Gary, Rhino, what do you guys think? We, I know we were just talking about, like, where to go, and... But that person is in distress. I think they might have to take priority. Yeah, this world's a bit dangerous. And if it is Lucy, then... She's out there without her partner. As much as I want to get those everything set up on our end to get out of here, I I, I guess we should help. It's just the right thing to do. Give me 30 right. minutes to see if I can get the our shields remapped. Take your time. We... Alrighty. So hey, while Grayson great. is working on the shields, uh, what else is everybody trying to, to get done? <laughs> um, I want to walk around in that little, like, ma like village thing with Salomon and be like, do you know anybody here? Like, do you want to, like, check it out and, and see if anyone you recognize is around? I suppose it would be okay to do so, but... Everything that happens back when we met, all of all of my friends were. You don't have to say it. It's okay. Thank you. Still, it would at least be nice to maybe see some old neighbors of sorts. Yeah, let's go for a walk. Alrighty, so you and Salomon will go ahead and just take some time to step away from all of this. <laughs> from how heavy the air is. Yeah. Okay, so now that Sammy's gone, I just gotta say, did the digital world intentionally make this a Wizard of Oz thing? Because <laughs> there's like a scarecrow and a lion and we're fighting a tin man and there's a little girl and her little dog too. It's too close. I, I, I'm paranoid that that might be a thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was AFK. What the heck did I miss? I uh, like sorry, no. went away. Look, Man. the last thing I need is you giving any of the fans credibility on their theories. <laughs> <laughs> there is already art of that, so. Oh, yeah, good. There oh is. Wizard of Oz. Good. Yeah. There's just no wizard, so there's no solution to the problem. Excuse yeah. me, I'm here okay. as both the wizard and the wizard mon. There you go. There you go. Yep. Double duty. He digivolves to ultimate. <laughs> He's just a big fucking head. <laughs> I did there's also a, get new shoes. There's a tiny this little guy good. underneath the head behind a curtain. <laughs> it's Maggie Mon. Yeah. I'm just a little guy. Peer not behind the curtain at the small gremlin. <laughs> I can just, that, that's freaking Terry Mon, the con artist. <laughs> hey! 
What you talking about? I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> just a little oh, guy hanging out. What's that? You guys want stuff? Uh, yeah, you had that all along, actually. Don't make me <laughs> give you things. Yeah, I, I actually don't have powers. Shut up. <laughs> sure, I could give you stuff, but I don't wanna. It's my stuff. It's my stuff. It's for me. <laughs> Here, an actual human heart. Don't ask me where I got it. As for the brain, I don't know. I can lend you Grayson for a bit. <laughs> what, what, why me? Where am I going? Guys, help. <laughs> uh, you all would like to get Wizardmon to help him just overlook, look at all the admin logs again, and just kind of like, he was not the smartest in the group by a long shot. Okay. But he, he wants to just look at all the information they have and just kind of. You doing this too? Datamon. Oh, okay, I thought you said Wizardmon before. I I... Oh, I might have. Uh, alrighty, so you're looking over the, the old admin logs with Datamon, okay. Yeah, just... He's just kind of looking over this guy getting real twitchy. Is there anything in particular you are searching for? How this happened to us instead of the previous admins. What, like, what's going on? Because... I don't understand how this system works. I don't understand why it had to be us. I'm unsure myself as to what it is that the system could have done to choose all of you, but it must have done so for a reason. What does it mean, in your opinion, to be digidestined? From what I can recall and my understanding of it, it is those humans that are chosen to make their mark on the digital world. For the better. Leave it in a better state than it was. And from my understanding, you all seem to be doing an attempt at that. I think that's what. Hmm. As yeah. for why the message itself was not sent to its destined recipients, I'm unsure as to why that happened. Regardless, you all are here now. I appreciate your help. Of course. Eos Is there anything in particular you wanted to like look at though, or just... nah? Just, just, just narratively, that this is just all he has. A moment. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, and okay. he wants, and he just wants to go over to Rhino and Gary for a second, just because he kind of thought of something in that conversation. Okay. Hey man, you're yeah, not up? doing too much right now. <laughs> I, I was talking to Danimon and I kind of got a thought. Okay. The other admins were trying to kind of take over for the system, right? Seems like it. Yeah, they had their own thoughts on how things should go, like with the purge program and making wild sweeping changes to everything. Yeah. What if this kind of got started because they... I guess overstate the welcome. Based Maybe. on High Andromon's personality, I'd say that's probably the case. It didn't they say that like one of them kind of stayed behind and the rest went on with their stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if it was Simon who stayed behind. I think at least the way the system is supposed to run, we come here, we do what we have to do, and then we go home. I think if we stay here for too long and try to, I guess, act as kings. Yeah, I mean, that they definitely decided problem. they knew better than the system. They they said stuff about deleting useless Digimon because it made the server chug. That sounds a whole lot like, you know, genocide. 
but I don't yeah, know. It sounds like real villain it. shit. Yeah, it sounds real bad. Uh, I don't. I don't like the idea that some of our friends could have been considered useless or junk data, and this guy would have just gotten rid of them. I didn't like that one bit when I heard him say that. Yeah, that pissed me off. Hi, Andromon's catchphrase is do us all a favor and be deleted quietly. Sounds like he took some notes from Simon's book. Yeah. Soon enough it'll be his turn to get deleted. Yeah. Can I say something real fast? Sure. I don't know if it's because like the signal was choppy, but did Jory sound like he wasn't upset when Grayson mentioned that Meteorman was killed? I I don't want to assume that that all of them are kind of apathetic to the Digimon, but it might have just been like he might have been shocked. They might know something we don't. I mean, also. You probably don't want to be the one to just panic and freak out when you're the only lifeline to the human world. Fair. Uh, I just... wouldn't be surprised if he was in shock, to be completely honest. I know I would be if someone kind of dropped that on me with Maldramon. Yeah. Well, Maldramon's invincible, I mean. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to take me, even like That's a true. fraction of what would be considered death. You did beat up like six Numamon all by yourself. Yeah, uh, 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 it's gonna be seven. It's gonna be seven. Just right. wait till we find Sukaman again. Wait till we find him again. You wouldn't know what hit him. Except, yeah. Uh, oh, I know. It'll look, like, it, it, it'll look like you. He, you you hit him. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Yeah. In a place he won't even know. <laughs> Just wanted to get you guys' thoughts on, on like that that theory, and I guess we will go in next. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to go to the coast and help this person, whoever they are. There's a chance it might be a trap or some kind of strategy from High Andromon to divert us or otherwise I mean... throw us off course. But it's, it's too necessary even if it is a trap oh yeah and i do think we should kind of stop by the data re reorganizer half of us can't swim yeah yeah that's that's fair so definitely get some water wings yeah or a surfboard or a you know like scuba suit so you can just breathe underwater oh yeah we could do that yeah. Or maybe there's like a Digimon that we can go inside of and like go underwater. Like in Pinocchio. That might, that might sound crazy though. Uh, I don't think that's real. Yeah. Well, there's, there's Waymon. Do we know about Waymon? <laughs> Probably not. I would say that's not a hard reach. <laughs> <laughs> that also doesn't catch you as Magimon. I feel like Magimon would at least know of the stories. No, it's impossible. <laughs> there's no Digimon as Phoenix. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Phoenixmon. <laughs> It was amnesiacs, that's right. Everyone knows the story of that mad fool Geppetto Mon who crafted Puppet Mon from a Cherry Mon and then got swallowed by a Way Mon. Shame what happened to Ahab Mon. No, that's, that's Ahab Mon. You're thinking of Ahab Mon's monster. Oh. Uh. <laughs> By, by the way, I know, Jiminy thought... Cricket Mon was there to help out. Yeah, any thoughts on Eosmon? <laughs> As the blue fairy. Wait, Eosmon, 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 or Eosmon? Yes. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you meant Eosmon. Oh, I thought I was talking about Argomon, 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 and Argomon. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask about Argomon, to be honest. Totally Which Argomon? Man, we love this. We love when things are named the same thing. <laughs> Oh, wait, did we talk about Waymon or Waymon Ultimates? I hate it. <laughs> Whoop! It's just size differences. So, uh, that said, Grayson, you were working on getting the 
uh, the shield system off of High Andromon's like system, basically. Yes. Correct? My hope is that we uh, that uh, High Andromon can't just turn it off on a whim like he did last time to us, or reverse it so that everyone's trapped where they are and the glitches can be the only ones to come through. Exactly. <laughs> Fair enough. I'd say go ahead and give me a brains check. Uh, let's make the DC. Let's make the DC a 15. And you can Ooh. add your plus three for, uh, you know, your computer knowledge on things. Yeah. Come on, explosion. Oh. Oh. That's close to an explosion. It's, it's close enough. So, yeah. I would say with uh, Datamon's help on this end of things, you are able to find the, like, baseline part of the code that has like the like admin signature on it and essentially wipe it before you copy that onto everyone else's shield programs and as a result while it's not an upgrade to the number of shields you have it at the very least keeps it so high Andromon cannot directly alter it guys i'm saying you guys a patch please download this and after you finish downloading it restart your shields that way the patch can take effect we can restart our shields. <laughs> also, also, you know, sign the uh, the the NDA at the bottom. Don't yeah. worry about it. You can scr yeah. scroll through the yeah. wall of text. It's fine. Well, you get the pop up that says, "Do you want this to make changes to your device?" Please hit yes. Mm, I don't know about those things. <laughs> this is just the entire week I've had at my job. <laughs> yes, please download the patch. Okay. <laughs> So with that, you guys can no longer have your shields manipulated by High Andromon. Good, fuck them. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, anything else that we need to do here? Unless you guys have anything immediately, you'd probably want to make your way back to uh, to Data City via the uh, the transporter. Itself. Well, we gotta Vision's... check out the gotta check out Van Mon first because apparently. Oh yeah, that's right. Jason screams at Ooh. Phoenix Mon, "Why are you so big?" Fair. <laughs> at which no. point, Data, Data Mon will go ahead and uh, perk up as you all are like getting ready to wander out. If you'll follow me, I can show you to the addition I have made to the D terminals. Uh, and okay. you yeah. all make your way outside. Lead the way. And sure enough, posted right next to the entrance to the D terminal, there is a small ramp that leads to a circular platform large enough to hold the van. Hmm. I figured it would be best to add a addition to the warp function of the terminals that would compensate for your vehicle. Oh, hell yeah. I assume it would be quite difficult to try and transport this thing from here back to Data City effectively with time. That's fair. Yeah, that would be nice. Be nice to speed that up a lot. So does the van teleport or is this like gonna fly? Yeah, we haven't really warped too much before. It's Feel free to pile into the van and I can show you how it works. Oh, I'll go get Sammy. We are sure sick. <laughs> are we really going to like end up like Kodayoko materialization us uh, ourselves? <laughs> so, Has anyone uh, else seen Canadian anime? Not a Canadian It's French! French. Anime. So, that yeah, that was a flub on Storm. Grace would know better. Yep. <laughs> anyone would know like French anime. Miraculous Ladybug? Yes. <laughs> You Here you go ahead too? and you, uh, you go grab Sammy and uh, Salomon <laughs> from wandering about the small little village. Hey, Sammy, Salomon, we gotta go. Oh, Which we're I'll going. Go I'll, I'll slide yeah, we go and we, we the, got a uh, distress signal on the beach. Okay, I'll race you to the van. Oh, hey, no, I have nothing. You gotta start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roller blades versus skateboard. Go. <laughs> at the at ultimate showdown. As you all kind of pile into the van, uh, Noemon and Phoenixmon are gonna go ahead and like wander over and uh, kind of give their goodbyes. Hopefully we can come back and visit. You're certainly well and welcome to be able to come back. We'd love to see you all again. That'd be cool Hopefully well. when all this nonsense is passed. Definitely. I'd love to Take check the place out distance. when it's not storming. I will be sure to accommodate you all on your next visit. 
That'd be great. And uh, thank you again for taking care of my sister. Of course, young warrior. Now, travel safe, and may we see an end to this crisis with your assistance. You got it. And with that, you all go ahead and hop into the van. Datamon is going to go ahead and press a quick little button. And with that, give me a quick moment here. There is a bright flash of light before the lot of you that blinds you all for oh my a eyes. Bit of time. I'm blinded for a bit of time. Until, as the light begins to fade, you see the familiar surroundings of one data city. Uh, good times. Where in the welcome. data city are we? Because I think, wasn't the server at like the top of the skyscraper? It was. However, you see that there is where the little uh, platform was situated uh, previously just outside of the server back in the server peaks. Uh, you can see that it is it almost looks akin to a designated parking spot right outside of CEO GG Mon's Tower. Hmm. I thought you were about to say we were in an elevator. I was like, oh god. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, we before we I know we have like a really important mission. I think Grayson and Gary needs to go check on CEO GG Mon to make sure he held you to his his promise and it's no longer like the empowerment of the stock markets <laughs> otherwise we have two megas to fight also that whole so. teleporting thing was really cool who all can do that is it just us or can like digimon do that well, i mean, I mean as far as you're aware there? it's anyone who has access to the d terminal so <laughs> okay which is how datamon's been able to jump and meet you guys everywhere i mean that's that's pretty cool and it seems like every spot between the terminals is riddled with horrible monsters. So anyone who wants to go somewhere couldn't, unless they were strong enough to beat them up. Do we want to set up, like, maybe some, like, more permanent things that other Digimon could walk through so they're not in danger all the time? Yeah, that's great. That's, we can do that after we handle, like, Hyangemon. Like, I know, like, we were taught, like, ER, like, in case you wasn't privy to that conversation. But uh, you know, uh, we can like before we like leave this world, we can try to like set up some things to make it safer for like the smaller Digimon. Well, we, just to be fair, we might need to set that up beforehand because like the monsters would in theory be gone if we defeated High Andromon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like but you talk about like safe houses and essentially yeah, like, a, like if we get... could set up like a little portal thing that people could walk through and then they could like you know if they're in the forest they could go to the city or the server peaks or. You know, whatever we've set up, and they could go be wherever they want to go. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. And so, with high hopes of impact on the digital world to prevent any more mishaps due to the purge program, ideas of preparations for yourselves before your next leg of the journey takes you to the bit coastline, and to responding to the SOS message coming from the depths. We're going to go ahead and call session there. <gasps> there is something very important that I need to do next session. And that is? <laughs> I need to run down to the concierge's off, uh, desk and uh, be happy to see Beamon and Headbutt him. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Good old. Good old. Beamon. You know what? Just for you who are on the map still, here's a little so you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> we are simple creatures. <laughs> I see a Vimon, I smile. <laughs> uh but yes, uh God, what a what a session, everybody. What a session to end off the year. Oh yeah. yeah. We've yeah. we've got our next objective. Rescue Woo. the mysterious stranger. I just had a thought. Go are on. we gonna have to fist fight a full grown adult? <laughs> That's gonna be great. <laughs> into this person are we gonna have to fight him oh no, okay no, look no. We got, well, i know it'll be fine <laughs> first true. of yeah, all yeah, yeah, the yeah, digimon yeah. stay out of it because it's human v human and we just we just 
throws Sammy in there and she just kicks him in the groin. Fuck. <laughs> One oh. shot. We just throw Rhino in there and ER. Rhino for damage, ER to take the hits. There we go. I am the shield. Rhino is the fucking the right, ER. ER. He's the bat. <laughs> Excellent. I am your shield. <laughs> All right, and uh, Chase, we can transition the screen as well. Oh, so. God. Uh, and I'll go ahead and change the music back. Hey, there's a Reinhardt in this Overwatch scenario. Where is my, where is my, where is my Digibeats? Oh, my God. Where's level my Digibeats? There we go. There we go. You hey, yes. absolute crazy people. Oh, yeah, you insane, like, good Lord, man. Just, I guess, hopefully this was a nice send-off for the year before we come back January. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us on this end of things, because, dear God, which, by the way, Grim, you can now send that to me, because the third terminal's active. Oh, oh, here we go. Then, uh, you can react live. <laughs> oh, I want to see the reaction I, Unless you can find too. a way not to see it, but... I mean, I can see, I can do a way to see it without uh, showing just everybody DM else, obviously. Them. Yeah, yeah just, just say... The, uh, the stream I... cannot see yours or Nick's Discord, so if you just oh, DM it to him... That's what I'm saying, so... <laughs> Or do you want to all see right. all the reactions live too? Like a, meh. <laughs> I'll yeah, just a meh. Good lord. Nick's gonna see it and just go, honestly, bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's all? You approved this? <laughs> Tee -hee funny sound. Why is it I'm nude? Trying, I'm trying to script. <laughs> yeah, why did you why did Carlo write this and say it was approved? <laughs> Lord. All right, now I need to scroll through all of DigiLive spoiler chat just to kind of see what's going on here. I saw one piece of art with Terry on with a laser through him. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I think it was oh, like the Oh, Mission right. Impossible. That was, yeah, the Mission Impossible thing where he just gets caught by the laser. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. He never stood a chance. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Like I gotta do your thing. Do your oh thing. my god! Figure where else to go. You guys can talk while you're doing that. No, I but yeah. I but no, I'm glad that everybody uh, you everybody joined the audience tonight. Like, That's Graymon. That's a normal ass Graymon. <laughs> that is a normal ass Graymon. He's just there. <laughs> That's the wrong level. That's just Bow Huckmon again. Yeah, it's just. The... Why would that? It's him. Save your Huckmon. Why, why would you do that when I had it planned? <laughs> That's just Duskmon with a cape. Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. It's again Kumon, but with a black outfit. <laughs> it's a, it's a, Duskmon gets absolutely blasted by a giant laser, and his ultimate form is a pile of ash, and he's Dustmon. <laughs> <laughs> But does he still have the eyes? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure the eyes are unharmed and the rest of his body is disintegrated. <laughs> it is just it is just Doesn't a puddle just of make ash. Him Eismon? Yeah, that, that does just make him Eismon. Yeah. yeah. That is his ultimate, Eismon. Yep. It's Eismon Ultimate. <laughs> Much like how we have Waymon Ultimate. And mm -hmm. I hate life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gonna be so weird when we get to that episode. Like, do we treat him as a champion or an ultimate? Hey, it's Waymon, it's uh Fuck. <laughs> Well, you know, Phoenixmon weirdly also is both an ultimate and a mega at the, from the original yep. outset. Yeah, because it was one of the original uh, Digimon before Mega was invented, so it only yep. went up to oh, ultimate. Yeah. And uh, and so there, like Hercules Kabuterimon was also All an right. ultimate. Um, there are a couple other like megas that were just ultimates back then. Yeah, and then there they were like, oops. Retcons. Let's see what it is. I mean, also, apparently somebody said they owed me a gift and I asked for it later, so now is later. <laughs> now is the time. The time is now. Also, uh, we didn't even have Vikemon back then. It was Plesiomon for Gomamon. Yep. Which I think my boy got an upgrade. I do... I, I have... Chat, I agree with you that Vikemon as Chakuwamon's Mega is stupid. It should not be that. True. Change it. Grim. Fix it. <laughs> Gr Grim, I have comments about this. They're all good, mind you. <laughs> but I have I have one that breaks the rest of these. And Chase, you'll understand why when I say it. 
I'm, I'm getting Kingdom Hearts vibes. I'm getting, I'm getting those. How I many am... zippers are there? Enough is the answer. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to post a picture in the group chat. Here's my idea for Terrymon's custom original mega. <laughs> like like OC, do not steal. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. Chat. He just that. posted an Omnimon Mercy. Yes. Yep. Yeah. For, for context for chat, but but no, that said, Grim, I love it. I I absolutely adore this. It's great. I I Fantastic. personally think that when this ultimate walks away, you won't hear anyone say, uh, "Please, oh baby, don't go." <laughs> oh, well, yeah, because he's so stealthy. Like yeah, I think this just, design is simple and clean. I did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now I have a question for Grim. Does he want to send me that so I can get like the data card walked on that ahead of time, or would you rather wait till after it premieres for me to make that? Probably after. All right. Yeah, we can, we can wait. I will... You could send <laughs> I... all the stats and abilities and the name and not send the design, and then he could just pop the design in once it's revealed. No, Chase, you see what I was trying yeah. to do is I was trying to sneak my way into seeing it early. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. That said, I, Grim, I do, to do be sure man. to... I know. Be sure to send me the name as well for this thing, so that way, oh, yeah. like, because because I I like the look of it. I would like to know what to call this. And yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> did oh, you boy. not send him the name? He did not. He just he it's just, all, he it's, just... On the, it's on the files, but you know they, they yeah. call call me Bethany, <laughs> they, but not Ma, not Mon, just Bethany. But isn't Bethany a woman's name? It fell down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Chad. Watch you Kung seen... Fu Hustle. Yeah, uh, Kung, so, Pao. Uh, Kung Pao. So, Kung Pao. Oh if God. you haven't seen Kung Pao, Chat, you should. Enter the fist. God. Yes. Yep. Yep. God. It is mm -hmm. without doubt one of the best Kung Fu films ever made. True. And I will die on that hill. True. True. Weird, and good. weird hill to die on, but at least you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> that said, uh, Chase, do we have any uh, last minute things to go through before I we? I don't uh... think we do. I don't. I didn't see anything. Else. Let me triple check if there were other donations past the ones we read. No, I think that's. I think we're up to date. Well, uh, if that being the yeah, case, thank you guys so much for everything. Appreciate yep, it. Yep. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for making Digi Destiny for the year of 2023. Uh, so incredible. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. We will yeah. update. We made it through a year with Digi yeah. Destiny. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. We, did. we haven't missed a single month. Technically, yeah, technically, true. technically, yeah. <laughs> so, as far as my knowledge goes, at least for for now, and until I, you know, start looking at other things, uh, next session is planned for January sixth. I think so. Yeah, first Saturday of January, I think, is the plan. Heck yeah, yeah. yeah which, which yeah. puts us on near anniversary for Schmucks and a Brood Alliance. I think it sure does. Yep, the seventh is our anniversary. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, so look at that, guys. Damn. We, we did it. So we because it's our anniversary, we're starting the game with full tokens, right? <laughs> For I mean, anniversary. Did you, spend, did you spend any of your tokens this time? I don't think so. And then you've then yeah, then you're well, but you're full. missing one. I think your you're... wish has I'm been missing four. Yeah, I, oh, wait, I, no, I did teach you all so I can look back. Yeah, I, I miss, <laughs> I, I'm missing one. Yep. Uh oh, what no, that said again to everybody who joined us for both this stream as well as for all of the streams like leading up to now mm -hmm. from from my heart to yours happy holidays uh i hope you all have a fantastic time going into the new year and thank you all for all of the support in making this show the way that it is and because by god i did not expect it to get to where it is now but i am i'm so grateful for what it is and yeah. this show would not be the way that it is without all of you. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so very much. Absolutely. Seconded. Thank you, everyone. We love you all. You're all so, amazing. You're all so fucking You're wild. Incredible. <laughs> you're wild and tough. You're wild bitches. And feral. Yeah, very, <laughs> wild and, and, and feral. Yeah, very much so. Those are all adjectives each, that are true. Each and every one of you could attack and dethrone God. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I was trying to make a, like a initial D reference. <laughs> City Hunter. City Hunter. Thank you. Yep. 
I, I'm, I'm I, going to rip out your throat. I, I've been having a long day. I'm sorry. And look, we're just going to put Terrier Mon in a fancy suit, and he'll be dead a city hunter. Yes, that's how it'll be. Yes! Yeah. Get wild Please and tough. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. I want it. Oh. It's going to be good. Well, thanks but everybody yeah. so much. Get chill, guys. Well. Well. And we will. Good New Year. Happy holidays. Have a good time. And we'll see you next year with more. See you. Destiny. Ah! Goodbye.